right, hey guys, and welcome to the stream. Um, I am joined today by the lovely Jared Emerson Johnson and Harrison Pink. Welcome, y'all. Hello. How y'all doing? Pretty good. Hanging in there, doing all right. Yeah. Um, <laughs> for those of y'all who don't know, um, Harrison Pink is uh, a game developer for multiple Telltale games, as well as... Jared over here is the composer for not only the Walking Dead series, but uh, my favorite Sam and Max series. So um very happy to have you all here today, for sure. Glad to be able to do it. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Hopefully um, people start showing in. I didn't do the most amazing job advertising this time, but, you know. Um, I can... Uh... We'll I can bug people. Right, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I wasn't sure if um oh who else was gonna possibly join us. Um Well Julian was hoping he could, I know, right. but I don't, I'm not sure if he's gonna be able to dip in because he, he had some pri previous uh yeah. engagements. Yeah. He, he had, yeah. Honestly, it's he been has... um we were we were just talking before the stream started how crazy this year's been and how all yeah. the weeks have kind of just melted together <laughs> um i definitely understand yeah, time is an illusion now so right. we just have to keep just living our lives one day at a time right um all right well uh hi jdrf um they said hi jared and harrison thanks for doing this my pleasure uh, pleasure yeah it's it's great um i've had harrison on before um so it's good to see him again, and Jared is a newcomer, so that's also fun. Um, and um, if anyone has any questions to ask them about Telltale, about um, specifically The Walking Dead, uh, would it be a DLC or an additional game of 400 Days? Would we called it like a mini series didn't we or right kind of yeah i think like on the marketing page it was let labeled as like <clears throat> dlc or expansion content okay but it's it's like in all of my in all of my documents i was looking at them again just to kind of jog my memory on stuff and it, i have it listed as 106 which literally yeah, means I, yeah. the sixth right. episode of the first season so so I, in my mind it was just like another another one yeah but in reality it was very different and and so you know not connected right to the main plot of yeah i think from the very beginning we like that was always the plan like we since the season one ends in such a very like decisive way to then be like oh but there's more for this story <clears throat> it felt super yeah. weird uh and right. i don't think anyone ever planned on like there being a secret sixth episode uh before season two started ramping up so this i think was always going to be some kind of like standalone anthology or standalone story of some mm -hmm. kind which made, I mean, we were talking about this a little before we started the stream, but it, which made it really pretty special and fun um, because there was a, a certain amount of freedom. Just, you know, it's a single episode and it's all these separate vignettes, all of which with fairly different tones from each other and from the from the main story of the first season. So yeah. there was a lot of room. I mean, for me, especially musically, there was a lot of room to play and uh, do things sort of in a musical direction that goes this way a little more, that way a little more, that was just kind of, would, would have been sort of out of bounds for the main Clementine Lee story. Right. Um, so that was great. That was great. And, <sighs> and what ended up happening is we did that, and then those sounds were able to kind of fold themselves back into the main story in seasons two, three, and four, and Michelle and stuff, because it sort of was already part of the uh, soundscape. Did it point, kind so. of help you like build a wider sort of soundscape for The Walking Dead generally? I don't like. Oh, I, I mean, about how yeah, that, that's what I was trying to say. I mean, it definitely that's absolutely what it did because I think for season one we were we were it, it was a very narrow path and we were trying to create a very specific atmosphere, and so the instrumentation was pretty uniform, you know, through those episodes and the um, like the presence of the music was sort of this. More, maybe a little more lower level, a little more background, except for action scenes. It was very much, it was very much uh, like a wallpaper mood tone atmosphere. Mm -hmm. And this, you know, there, there's, you know, I, I, there's like the fog one. <laughs> That's how I would describe it without spoiling stuff. But like, there's sort of a John Carpenter vibe to the writing and the story and, and the music. And so it gets a lot more present in that, in that instance. And then there's other ones that are in sort of different style uh genre styles 
right. still within the Walking Dead universe, but more genre styles, which allowed for more genre music. And so, yeah, it, it that's a long way of saying it, it totally expanded sort of the palette of options that's all. going into season two. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. I, uh, I never, um, I've told this before on the streams, I never got to play um, the Walking Dead series when it first came out. Um, so getting to play it, especially through the eyes of like the developers we've had on these charity streams has been really cool just to see like all the effort that went into it. Um, and especially since like, um, I'm playing the PlayStation four version of season one, where it's like, it also includes 400 days as like episode six, basically. Um, yeah. so it will take in the data from my first five episodes and change some of the dialogue a little bit. Um, so I'm terrified and <laughs> excited about that. Uh, <laughs> I don't know to what it's to... It'll be good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, it's good. It'll be good. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Definitely didn't make any decisions I regretted or anything, so... Um... <laughs> if you did make any decisions you regretted, then you weren't playing The Walking Dead. Right. That's true. <laughs> that is very true. There are no good choices. <laughs> no, Some Occasionally. No 100%, like, yeah, right. there's no black and white, for sure. Yep. Um, yep. So, I, I want to say, before... Um, it, there's a question from JDRF, and I'm sure more questions are on the way. Um, but before we get started, if you do, guys don't mind, I'm going to talk about um, the charity uh, for JDRF. Um, yeah. So it is the Juvenile Diabetes Research Foundation. And um, this... Um, oh, the previous charity stream, I forget when it happened. I guess back in August. It feels like yesterday, but I guess it was a while ago. Um, we we're raising money um and i um our crew uh here with calibrate gamer raised about five thousand two hundred and fifty dollars or so um which helped went to help fight type 1 diabetes and it was amazing i'm like super proud to be a part of that um and now for national diabetes month uh the month of november um jdrf is trying to raise uh, twenty thousand dollars, which I believe we're already at twenty five thousand total. Um, so <laughs> we're good. Awesome. We're good on the goal. But of course, any more money that anyone in the chat can give by using the link in the chat right now or by typing exclamation mark donate, um, which you can see on the top of the screen right now. Um, anything you can give will help tremendously to help fight type one diabetes. Um, and I, I'll, I've, I'm sorry for everyone who's already heard this story 20 times, but uh, my best friend, uh, his name is Blake, and I knew him for 18 years uh, from when I was in first grade and he was in kindergarten till um, 2017. And um, unfortunately, uh, he passed away from a diabetic coma. Um, his insulin pump malfunctioned and he basically went to sleep and never woke up. And it was, I mean, he was like my brother, like not by blood, but um, like he was as my, my best friend. Um, and I had been doing little things for JDRF beforehand, but not really. Like um, he took parts in the camps and the walking and, and all that. Um, like he was a camp counselor, uh, and he did the walks for charity. Um, but it wasn't really until he passed away that I was like, okay, I need to do everything I can. And I started doing, um, the walking with his team. Uh, we called ourselves the Blake's Batman because his three favorite things in the world were Batman, the walking dead and Taco Bell. And all three of those things were pretty much like tied for uh, a yeah. favorite thing. Um, which is actually why I started playing The Walking Dead for JDRF, um, last year, I guess, or this year. I forget when I started playing The Walking Dead for it, but I guess it was last year. Was it? I don't know. Um, <laughs> but because, like, out of all the games I had access to, I was like, oh, Blake would have loved this game. Um, so anything they all have to give to, so other people don't have to go through... I mean, 
tragedy that we had to go through uh, is greatly appreciated. Um, but yeah, that was my ramble. Um, sorry, that took a minute. <laughs> um, and JDRF said we are currently at twenty one thousand five hundred and ninety eight dollars. So it's amazing. It's great. Great job. Um, and no, I did not get my tattoo yet. I will though. Uh, I promised them. <laughs> so I told them, <laughs> yes. So I told them if we raise five thousand uh, dollars, because last year we only raised about four hundred and ninety dollars. So um, the goal skyrocketed this time, and I was like, if we reach five thousand dollars, I will get a tattoo of the Batman logo. Um, nice. And I will, but I'm terrified of needles. <laughs> And, oh, no. and right now, because of COVID, my wife can't yeah. be there with me when I'm getting a tattoo. <laughs> yeah. It's not the easiest year to be getting a tattoo. Yeah. Plus, you right. want to find an artist. That, you want to find an artist you really love and trust yeah. and research. That yeah, stuff, so. so I don't Take end up your time. getting sick. <laughs> so you yeah. know, definitely, um, definitely, still will do that. But it hasn't been, like you said, the best year for it. <laughs> um, you got it out. Here. right yeah yeah uh, i've got a and i don't even know when it will be good to do that again but we'll we'll see yeah. um, hopefully soon <laughs> oh yeah uh, okay so jrf said uh jared your beard is more epic every time i see you um that's from emily uh, <laughs> thank you, thank you. <laughs> it's i just took a shower about an hour ago so it's it's, it's especially uh froofy yeah need to get some like hair serum or something for it that's great. I um and then uh, their question was for both of y'all, um, how much of season two was already planned when four hundred days was being made? Like, did you plant stuff into four hundred days, knowing about season two, or was season two developed later to include stuff that had to do with four hundred days? The way I remember it was that season two was like. A, like a twinkle in, in the eye at that point. Um, I think we knew once season one took off and did really well, um, I think people knew that there was going to be a season two and maybe a season three. I don't remember uh, exactly. Someone else from Telltale could probably uh, be more specific. I remember it just being talked about as season two for sure. I mean, I think, yeah. you know, probably people assumed, but I think it was like, how do we follow up this success? Totally. So, so the idea of like we're, we are going to do a season two, but we we you know have other things in the fire. I think that uh, Wolf Among Us was starting to spin up a little bit more at the time. Telltale yeah. was small enough that we couldn't do like lots and lots of different projects at the same time. Uh, so the idea of yes, we're going to do a season two was definitely I think there when we started 400 Days, uh, but we had no there was no like we knew what season two was going to be, and then we like backported some cool like some cool connections into 400 days 400 days was as jerry was saying before the stream started like it was kind of they just gave us some time and we knew we needed to do a dlc episode that was always planned we didn't really know what we wanted to do for it so we just spent some time experimenting um which i'm happy to go into more details if people are interested but like i kind of just spent a couple of months with another designer mark darren like working on new mechanics like hey what other mechanics can the telltale tool do um and we'll see some of those tonight actually uh, but uh, it was just a kind of, it was a great, super fun time of like, let's just try what kind of story, how can Telltale tell stories? We've done sort of a long season long thing for a while. Can we do smaller stories? Can we do this anthology idea? Um, and so that, I think that that was, it took some time to figure out what 400 days was. There was a lot of earlier conversations about like, is it a, is it a standalone episode with a, a new protagonist and it's a whole two and a half hours of just one story or is like, so we did a lot of sort of discussions about what it was uh, but I think from the very beginning it was always known to be like a separate thing separate from season one and season two uh, Jared I don't know if you're yeah, right. no that's that, that's how I remember too I, as I recall I think season two was definitely being discussed but it was such a bigger nut to crack and I think there was a there just needed to be a lot more lead time to figure it out because I think at that point it was even like is Clementine gonna be the player character I mean there were a lot of big questions at that time that weren't uh, necessarily givens, and so I think there there was definitely a team. I mean, I know Dennis, I think, and others were certainly uh, starting to work on that. I think at the same time, but this, definitely. like you're saying, was very much a separate. Uh, it was very much its own kind of little island, 
And at the time, if I recall, I think there was a lot of talk and there was sort of, it was like a testing idea, the idea of ha having these sort of like pilot shows, like pilot, yeah. pilot programs right. where it would be like just a one-off episode, see how it does kind of to, and I always kind of wished we had been able to do more of that. And then of course, you know, once you, once you're making Wolf Among Us and season two and all these other things, I mean, like Poker Night was kind of another one like that. And, yeah. um, there were a few other other things, but it was sort of seen as like, oh, here's here's an opportunity to just do a do a single one off thing. We don't have to worry as much about the the larger picture and retention of you know people coming back month after month, uh, and we can do something kind of that's just its own thing. Um, yeah, right. It's really made this super fun to work on because it yeah. was it was definitely its own thing. I mean, it's it was The Walking Dead, but it was its own little kind of special nugget and it was actually sort of five six separate things within one too <laughs> right it, you know it was it you know it in itself had these little vignettes so um the, yeah, I remember the idea <clears throat> early so i remember at some point uh i mean the whole like walking dead season one team uh was basically on 400 days at some point i know that um uh uh sean venom and jake rodkin were you know telling it for a while and once it kind of got off the runway they actually did move on to season two like starting to figure out like put, put, putting post notes on the wall of like here's the box that season two is going to be in is it clementine is it not who's the character what are we doing um and they that's right now that that jogged my memory actually because i remember yeah. now that there was there was this whole other season two actually for yeah. a while there so you're yeah, right this yeah. is actually probably a little bit before dennis coming on because yeah, yeah. There was sort of, sort i think of so other... because there was this was a, still in the glacier, the glacier yeah place, you're totally right uh, office God. and i know <laughs> it was <laughs> <Yeah>. a while ago <laughs> yeah and right. uh i remember that uh so they had to move on to like okay guys we kind of we know we, we signed on to do season two you, you know we would like you guys to sort of like figure out what that is and so they kind of like sequestered themselves away and they left it in the hands of sean uh ainsworth who kind of became we don't really at the time we didn't really have direct like creative directors but he he became the kind of creative vision for what 400 days uh became um super talented guy um and so they they we kind of like got it off the runway and then they said like they kind of entrusted it to uh sean uh Ainsworth and kind of the rest of the team the rest of us to sort of like take it all the way to the end as they started to move on to season two so yeah i, I think that season two was such a like we have no idea let's spend some time and figure out what we want like this was also a tech kind of like what kind of tech requests we want to make uh it's like what what do we want the telltale tool to do uh, in the future it's super good at dialogue but what else can we push in the like the gameplay space because like if you remember in in season one there were very simple like in episode three and episode four like almost first person like shooting uh shooting gallery mechanics and there's a lot of really simple stuff that we we're doing, but at that time it was really pushing what the tool could do. And it was sort of kind of what we wanted it to be, but not perfectly. So this was a like, hey, what else can we get the tool to do uh, given all the other constraints that we can then use to kind of take the, the next Telltale game to the next like mechanical level? Because I think at that point everyone was like, yeah, I think we've kind of cracked the nut on how Telltale tells a story on a narrative level, but how can we bring up the rest of the, the gameplay to really push forward? Um, and so that was like we just had time and we just had some like production resources to just be like let's just try some stuff so the the, the bar like the, the failure the, the threat of failure was kind of low because like if you make one anthology piece that's 20 minutes long and it doesn't really kind of do what you wanted it to do it's not a big deal you didn't wreck a whole season uh with a crazy idea so we could kind of get a little wild with the things we were trying um and season two and like season three four etc like those would not absolutely not exist without the stuff that we like learned from 400 days right and i think that there are also i mean i can't speak exactly to the the marketing and business strategy but i think there was a certain sense of we need to get another we need to get more walking dead content out yeah. because we just won all these awards yeah. people want it people are excited about it but we're, we still have to figure out what season two is going to be and that it's probably going to be a year before that's ready to to be out i mean figure it out and then build it uh all you know all these episodes uh right so the idea is like well we can just take a couple months or like I, it was a short time it was like yeah i don't know two two months six weeks <laughs> maybe maybe a little longer than that but it was short but, and we can have something out you know in a shorter well, amount of it time was, it was definitely not too much but it was like uh, it, i remember working on it for a while uh because we had all the different writers uh yeah. each person wrote a different episode or a different part of the anthology and uh it, it went pretty quickly 
but uh, I think also to your point, Jared, a lot of it was like, let's just make sure that people don't forget about The Walking Dead. Like games, yeah. like, it, they're like such a flash in the pan. Like even if you win an award somewhere or like win game of the year, like six months later, people don't, they've moved on to the next thing. And I think it was, it was part of the plan to say like, we need to continue to make sure people remember, you know, uh, what they loved about The Walking Dead so that when season two starts to like ramp up into like, get excited marketing that people haven't totally forgotten about because well, there was always a core group of, of telltale fans but but the walking dead brought so many new people in that had never heard of telltale or had never oh, yeah. bought a game right and so the idea was okay we suddenly have this audience yep. we need to give them something we, we can't just leave them hanging so yeah exactly so we got to make a really fun thing because of that yep. well that's awesome uh yeah I, I just wanted to say we just got a uh 50 donation um yeah it says from <laughs> donate what you can donate at fifty dollars so there you go thank you <laughs> good message and a good amount of money good thank so you thanks. anonymous person for <laughs> for the fifty dollar donation we really appreciate it um but yeah well that's awesome i um when i first was introduced to telltale games um it was because a buddy of mine was obsessed with sam and max and so uh, she showed me those games. Um, so I really got into those. And then I'm a huge Back to the Future fan. So when I realized that there was a, you know, Telltale Back to the Future game, I was like, oh, I'm going to definitely play this. Um, but I never really got the chance to play the Walking Dead games because I had never seen the show. Um, and, you know, it just wasn't, I, I didn't know what the appeal was because, I mean, I just didn't know anything about it. Um, so it's been a blast playing this and having to make terrible decisions with Lee and Clementine. <laughs> as as the clock is counting down. Oh my gosh. Yeah. It's <laughs> like, um, just like when we, um, when we ended the last episode, so episode five, um, we had Clementine leave Lee instead of shooting him. Because my mentality was like, I can't have her, like, a as Lee, like, thinking of protecting her, it's like shooting your, your father figure mentor, like, was the last thing I wanted her to do. But it was still like, 39% of players chose what I chose, because everyone else was like, no, don't do that to Lee, like, turning into a walker is like, the worst thing that could happen, and... It's been decisions. Yeah, bad thing to you. Pick, pick it's hard to know what is going to be more game. scarring. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cause everyone in the chat was like, what do you mean? You're not going to shoot him. And I'm like, it's, it's Clementine. That's going to shoot him. It's not me. Like I can't, I can't make her that's do your out. See, it's not you doing it. Right. It's not, it's not you making the bad decisions. <laughs> the, the bad. Important question. Cause I didn't have a chance to see you put, you play it. Uh, did, who did you save? Did you save Doug? Uh, yes. Or did you save Charlie? That was my episode. And I, you saved, I you saved Doug. I okay, good. Then, then Doug. you're all right. Then you're <laughs> so, fine. So you're okay then. The first time I played through the game, because I played like maybe the first three episodes by myself, um, well right. before the charity stream. Uh, when, when my best friend Blake passed away, um, shortly thereafter, I actually did a little um, YouTube series where I was playing this game with his little brother um because Sweet. his little brother loved this game and he was like hey he's like blake would have loved this game like let's play it so we had enough time to play like the first three episodes um so i at first saved uh what was her name uh, the other one um uh, carly carly uh yeah. i at first saved carly because she had a gun and i was like okay you and a lot you and a lot of people yeah, yeah. You and a lot of people. i was like yeah. i'm gonna save carly she's gonna save doug we're all going to get out of this alive. Um, that was the first time you were like, oh, this game's not nice. Oh. You know what, though? There's a really good, I don't, I don't know if you can find it, but um, Jake and Sean, Jake Rodkin and Sean Vanneman did a GDC talk the following year after season one, specifically talking about choices in general, but that one in particular. And it was a huge learning uh, experience seeing that because definitely a higher percentage of people chose Carly over Doug. Yeah. And they were kind of dissecting that because in their designing of it, in, in the designing of all these, the goal was always sort of like, if you can, if we can get a 50, 50 split on all the choices, that means we've set up a good, right. It, it actually matters, right. right. If there's no obvious choice like that, actually it has more meaning. And they were trying to uh, sort of, 
you know, in a postmortem, like figure out like why was why was it? And and you know, the reality was that there there was an additional scene originally in season one, episode one that ended up being cut, where you did work with Doug for for it was like a little ten minute sequence where you had to work with him to do something, and you get you would get a sense that oh he's he's a sharp guy who can like solve problems in a way that nobody else here can. And they realized like, the, you know, they, there were a million reasons why the scene had to be cut. But if that had been in, it probably would have lent, it probably would have yielded a more 50-50 split in, the, yeah, uh, in the end because you would have had that to remember too. It's like, well, she has a gun, but I remember that thing. He's and so it was, it was, that was like a learning experience that I think a like, lot of people. Yeah, you yeah, had the scene with the like the, the batteries and the remote control and stuff, but it wasn't, there was a wasn't lot of the same. Time. It was reduced, yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah I, I remember. <laughs> Real quick, uh, Dan Connors is in the chat, so hi, Dan. Yay, hey, Dan. Dan. Good to have you here. Um, yeah. Just said exclamation mark, donate, but I appreciate you showing <laughs> the link. Um, also, JDRF uh, posted a link to the Saving Doug G uh, GDC talk. Oh, good. So yeah, it's a great it's a great thing because it's not just about Doug. It's it's about really kind of like the the thought process that went into how how, how these decisions, you know. Yeah. Oh yeah. You know, making making sure there was no obvious choice, which is why it's everything is a lose lose. Right. You know? yeah. Everything is it's like a it's like a tormented decision every time. So, yeah, there was a lot of like arguments in the room about like, no, no one, no one's gonna pick the second option. No one in the world is gonna pick the second. No one, no right? Right mind would Why would they that pick option. that? Everyone would be like, yeah. oh no, of course they would. And like, it would turn into an actual yeah. like heated argument in the writers' room. And we're like, perfect, that's a good decision because nobody yeah. in this room can agree if it's a good decision or not. <laughs> yeah. Uh thank you, Dan, for the fifty dollar donation. That's so kind of you. Yay. He won, awesome. Dad. There you go. Oh yeah. <laughs> um but uh thank you so much uh that is a hundred dollars and we are only 30 minutes in so not too bad um so um oh what was i gonna say um oh okay so as far as saving doug i will say there was a there was a glitch when i played where um the remote control the remote controller was in my inventory before i found it um, and, and because of, between that and between all Doug offering me was like, you know, hey, there's TVs over there. I was like, Doug, you're so useless. Why, why are you like, uh, some TV. yeah, but then like in the next episode, he's like, man, I made this alarm system. Like I've got, I've got this whole thing rigged up and I'm like, whoa, that's, that's really cool. Like you're really tech savvy, yeah. but unfortunately me personally i didn't i didn't like you know i didn't have enough information about carly either but the only difference was she had a firearm so i was like yeah. i was like cool <laughs> like i'm gonna save carly <laughs> um but everyone in that charity stream <laughs> was team doug so they they forced me to save him but it was a good choice <laughs> i i can i confess that part part of my uh sensitivity is because as you as you may may or may not know you probably mm -hmm. do is that the character and model of Doug is based off of Doug, our friend Doug. An actual who, real person. <laughs> who's like, you know, the best dude ever. <laughs> so, like, Doug! Yeah. I mean, yeah, the always... shirt he wears is literally a shirt that Doug has. You know, it's great. <laughs> yep. Dad, Dad asked, Harrison, weren't you supposed to fix that? <laughs> <laughs> the, Definitely not me. The remote. <laughs> <laughs> I, well, I don't know what causes it because I actually ran into it <laughs> twice. Uh, the first time when I did my little YouTube thing and I didn't even notice it because he just pulled out a remote. He's like, we could use this remote. And I'm like, oh, uh, I guess he picked that up while he's walking around. I don't know. I didn't notice it. And then I walked into the office area and that's where you get the remote. And I was like, oh, okay. But the first time I didn't even notice. The first time I was like, you know, didn't even think twice about it. It was the second time near the cherry stream. I was like, huh, that's that's a little strange. Um, but it's, it's no big deal. <laughs> yeah. Are you are you trying to tell yeah. telltale bugs? Let me you just oh <laughs> no, no. <I'm, laughs> I felt bad mentioning it last time. It's like, oh wow, throw us under the bus, why don't you? It's, it's like a oh. game from 2011. <laughs> it's probably fine in 2012. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um so uh jdrf asks if you had to program a website in the middle of the zombie apocalypse you would have chosen doug oh okay that's oh, not, not a question yeah, just a statement absolutely. but yes 
He can do so much more than programming. Oh man, uh, I did a. But he uh, would have the best zombie website of all time, <laughs> for sure. I would. I, were, I did a game jam with Doug uh, when I first joined Telltale over over a long long weekend, and like while I was presenting the game to the group some silly in joke about one of the characters names became a thing that everyone in the group and like on twitter was like make, it became semi-viral and within like before i'd gotten off the stage he'd already from his phone created a website with that like character on the on the page and he named it the characters like the, the joke.com <laughs> he like he built it like literally in the 30 seconds from me like yeah. walking off the stage to the, to the group <laughs> that's dick that's yeah. awesome yeah, yeah, I understand. Like once, um, everyone was like, "No, no, you gotta pick Doug. You gotta pick Doug," and like, um, I was real impressed with him in the next episode, and it, it was great talking to him because, like, um, I love that I got to see both sides of like Carly and Doug. So when you get Carly, um, she ends up making really mad. Uh, who's the character that we end up uh leaving behind? As she ends up shooting Lily. Lily. Yeah. Lily. Um, so like with Carly's story, it's like Carly, like Lily's like trying to shoot Carly. Like, like literally like just pissed her off that much, like was worried about who, you know, ratted them out to the, you know, thieves and all that. Um, or who was, you know, stealing supplies. And Doug <laughs> was like just in just the crossfire. The yeah, yeah, like, he he literally made no one upset, but unfortunately, he still had to die. Um, Doug doesn't make anyone upset. That's the Walking Dead, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was just kind of funny, because I was like, man, when I chose Carly, like, she wasn't asking for it, but she certainly wasn't, like, you know, like, being uh, patient about it, but Doug was just like, hey, maybe we could all just <laughs> calm down and talk about it. And I'm like, oh, Doug, no! <laughs> oh, <laughs> Yeah, Larry. He's a great character too. You know, there's yeah. there's no wrong choice, but it it is funny how much how many arguments people love to get into about these things. Right. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Uh, JDRF asks, uh, Harrison, did you design these games expecting people to play them twice to see the different branches? Uh, I don't think we made. I don't think it changed the way that we designed the game. Um, so season one actually had a um. A rewind tool that you could use to like go back and see the other branches without having to play the entire game again and we found out that we, we actually stopped putting that in the game because most people didn't rewind and redo their choices like the, the amount of people using that tool was like less than 10 percent, i believe um so I, I mean i get that i think a lot of people played it and they were like truly role-playing and they didn't yes, they didn't want to think of it as the way it's put story. together totally. yeah they, they wanted to get the the through line yeah so i think that on the second playthrough, it definitely, you kind of peek behind the, the curtain a little bit and see the pulleys and lovers. Um, and some people really love to see like 100% of all the content, right? Like, right. how could this have, what's all of the spider web ways that this could have gone? Um, and some people don't. And it, it, I feel like most people don't want to know, you know, uh, what the man behind the curtain is doing because, and I say this a lot, the, the beauty of a Telltale game is as that timer's ticking down and you have to pick one of four choices, you're not thinking about like the four choices. You're thinking about like the billion things that are going to branch off of those right. four choices. And like, is Kenny going to punch me in the face? Is Larry going to shoot me in the face? Like you have no idea <laughs> if what's, you don't know what's in the game and what's not in the game. Like the, like the possibility space is incredibly large. Right. And once you see every single permutation of it, you realize that the possibility space is, is not as large. I mean, it's still pretty dang large because oh, yeah. the script is huge. Um, but once you see the boundaries that you're in, it kind of, destroys the magic a little bit so i think generally and this that's how i play too like i don't want to actually go back and see all the content i, I believe that like I, I would prefer to pretend that there's like infinite possibilities for, for games that are in like like this like dialogue games right well because um, to a certain extent it is role playing i mean i think some people feel it that way more than others but it, like you have unless you're invested in in it in a serious way as like these yeah. characters are going to have think something about what I choose. You know, there, there's going to be a ripple effect, like not just in terms of gameplay and mechanics, but in terms of like personal relationships. Yep. Uh, yeah. yeah, and you don't know I like mean, picking one different choice is going to totally ruin all the work you did to like make Kenny your friend, right? Like you don't know, right. you don't know how the pull yeah. pulleys work. Like what one thing is going to set Kenny off against you? You don't know, or Lily, <laughs> or whoever. Right. So people don't want to 
go back unless it's like i really want to rewind because i totally screwed that up um and they want to see if they can maybe see like everyone always plays the kenny uh the, the carly dog choice over and over again to be like maybe i can save them both right um that's kind of the only time anyone really does that yeah. uh, but once you realize you can't you kind of i think that's one of the moments in that game that's so brilliant about that choice it's it takes a while to get to that moment but uh once you get that big choice and you realize like there's no going back I think a lot and of there's people, and there's no right or wrong decision. It's exactly. not like one. It's not like one is objectively better than the other. Over, they're they're, yeah. they're both a bummer, and things are worse afterwards, no matter what. Totally. You do. Oh but yeah. You, you, you try and go back and save them both, and you realize you can't. You kind of accept that. You, that um, teaches you like that's that's Southdale game. Like that's The Walking Dead. Uh, so <laughs> I think once you once you get over that hump, a lot of people go, okay, I have to just be aware that every time it says so and so will remember that, or I have to make a choice with the timer ticking down that like. It's kind of no takes these backsies, really. Um, so I don't really, I don't have the numbers in front of me, obviously, but I, I have a sense that a lot of people don't replay. And so it didn't really affect how we designed the choices. We really just wanted each choice to feel uh, impactful and meaningful and not just be like, will I paint the wall blue or red and have no real meaning? Each choice was really like, we have to make sure this actually means something. So right. uh, we didn't really think about going back and playing it again. And I don't know who, I don't know when the uh, servers stopped calculating like players' choices, but um, I looked up just now the stats for who would you save, Doug or Carly, and this playthrough when we saved Doug, it was me and fifty-one percent of players. So oh, you know, forty-nine. Good. Yeah. For so it, it, like, it evened out over right, time. Right down that middle. Maybe the, maybe people watch the GDC talk. <laughs> yeah, we're back in, we're we're back for Doug earlier error. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, like even even things that I wouldn't. It's, Expect to mean anything like if you spend too long fighting with Kenny on the train, you'll go to the back and find ducks become a zombie and has eaten yeah. everyone. And like that was the other thing we forced. We forced that scene to happen because it was like no one sees this. It's like one percent of people has ever seen zombie duck. Yeah, I, I the only reason I saw it was because I was um I was playing the game with my buddy Dallas and. Um, he had like taken a break from recording to, um, like, you know, just like, you know, take care of things, like get drinks, whatever. And like, I basically, like, basically came back to like Duck just like having eaten everyone because like I didn't realize there was like a timer in that situation. And I was like, oh, like, that's okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's the walking dead i love stuff like that but i hated it <laughs> i uh <laughs> hated hated the duck and kacha um oh, god, oh my yeah. gosh i mean because I, I that one that one took a lot of work oh, to yeah. ride that line that was rough that was <sighs> a rough one and that was the that was my episode so like i had to see it over and over and over <laughs> I mean, all, obviously all the cinematic artists had to as well but like man yeah it doesn't get any easier even watching it now and yeah that's the that's the thing i mean there's just a lot of choices i i remember trying to save duck or um forget his name uh but um the larry yeah uh well the old guy the, the or... yeah the old guy that we yeah. were saving the uh ducker sean was the choice oh oh oh, oh yeah, yeah yeah um right. when we were uh at herschel's farm that's who right yeah yeah um and i just remember stuff like that and I remember in the moment after it at all, like after the fog had cleared up, I remember thinking, okay, chances are from a gameplay perspective that Duck would have survived this anyway. Um, but I, I mean, I had no idea. Like, you know, like I had no idea if my decision that I made would have saved Sean instead of Duck. You know, like how would I have lived with Kenny for the rest of that season? Um, ah. Uh, it's just stuff like that. Like you never really quite know until you go back and play it again. And then you're just like, okay, like th this was going to happen, but <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. Does anyone else have any other um, questions before we jump into the actual game? Uh, 400 days. Dive in. Caleb, have you played 400 days? I have not. Dan not um i well i played the first three episodes of season one and a little bit of episode four before we did the charity streams so i'm in fresh territory to 
Um, and this is my same copy on the PlayStation 4, so it should take a little bit of what we've played and uh, throw it back in my face. So, excited <laughs> uh, <laughs> <it> for that. <laughs> um, if there's no other, there's no other questions, uh, and of course y'all can ask questions throughout the game, you know, but not. And of course, you guys, uh, Jared and Harrison, you are more than welcome to hang out with us for the stream. If you'll have to cut out early, you know, don't worry about that. Uh, feel free. Um, yeah, I'll stay for as long as I can. I, I, I haven't seen this in years, so I, I kind of want to see it because I it is it was such a fun one. Yeah, I don't yeah. think I've seen it since I played it when it first came out. Right. I'm excited because it's like y'all talking about like it's definitely different from one. Um, I'm excited to kind it's like, of like it's kind of like five little short films almost. That's you know? awesome. Yeah. Uh, um, yeah, JDRF said, Harrison, can you point out when the game is drawing something from Caleb's season one data? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm pretty probably. sure I can. I mean, there's one or two that are going to be pretty dang obvious. <laughs> right. Uh, I will do my best. <laughs> uh, the other thing about this, uh, about 400 days, is, uh, and we'll get into it as we play. I don't want to spoil anything, but like the, uh, each of the pieces of 400 days uh, do touch each other so I, I will try and like and jared obviously if you see anything i don't remember them all um but they will i, I've, will I notice, literally will have my i have my q sheet document open right now so I, i'm looking it over to, to jog my memory on perfect yeah just the flow of everything and i was and i was branches. just talking to, to sean ainsworth about it before the stream uh just yeah. to like catch up with him on like how it all how the process went and like where we started for the days like what it was at the beginning and then where it ended yeah um one one thing i will say that um because i i don't know if i'll be able to say all the way to the very end and, and I, it is an interesting thing that is that um the plan for the sixth chapter initially was quite different from what it ended up being totally was, yeah. uh, and and that that's something that's very interesting so i don't want to i don't want to talk about it too much because it, it kind of spoils everything right but, um you know there's these sort of five disparate stories and and then they kind of come together a little bit in the sixth one but right. um anyway it's a yeah, yeah it, that was one of those things that evolved in production all right well we will um transition over to that um it won't include y'all's webcam so you're all more than welcome to get comfy uh, and, okay and whatnot i'll put on i'll put on my pajama put pants. Your jammies yeah that's that's yeah. good all right and transition for to the actual game so don't forget guys this is a jdrf um charity live stream uh any money you donate will go to help fight type 1 diabetes uh you can actually see it on the bar right there we've raised a hundred dollars to our current goal of 500 um, yeah. And of course, JDRF, like twenty-one thousand dollars into their twenty thousand goal for the month. So, um, great job to everyone already. Um, Fantastic. Yeah. Whatever we can do, we'll definitely, um, you know, we'll definitely help. Uh, okay. I wanted to say real quick, um, in our no time left playthrough. Just to remind everyone, and obviously different stories, so it's not directly connected, but um, so we removed Lee's arm early on in the episode uh, when it got bit uh, uh, when he was attacked by zombies. Um, lost her temper with Kenny. I don't exactly what. Maybe... And Kenny just talks so much crap. Yeah. <laughs> like, like what? Really, any time in that episode. <laughs> what crap was he saying this time? Yeah, I think it was because they were concerned on saving Clementine or or like taking the boat, you know, like blah blah blah. Yeah. Um. Uh, I'm just so curious what servers are still up that still have these this data. Like, I'm I'm so curious to know where this is being stored. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> I remember someone saying like. There's just a computer in, in a basement somewhere that's just <laughs> chugging away, <laughs> like trying yeah. to keep the data alive. Um, yeah. yeah, and then um, gave up weapons, like very low percentage, including us, surrendered the weapon. Oh, man, it's hard to remember exactly. I think it's when the stranger asks you to drop I, I the weapon. When you talk with a stranger, I'm not positive, though. Yeah, yeah, that would make sense. Um,. And, um, we did kill the stranger. <laughs> um, 
I think I was just like really concerned for Clementine's safety or, you know, coming back as a uh, walker, but the uh, mentality was. Um, and then we stopped Lee from turning. Uh, so unfortunately, he is tied up somewhere right to a radiator. Out there somewhere wandering. Oh. Uh, Maybe he's chewed. He may have chewed through the. Probably. Whatever yeah. it is by now. <laughs> yeah, he's. Yeah. Or just like ripped his arms off and. Well, his arm or arm or arms. Yeah. He's probably free, <laughs> just you know, missing an arm and missing a hand and uh, just not living a great life. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely true. Sham shambling. So y'all um, let me know in the chat if the game audio is too loud compared to us, um, or if it's too quiet. Um, previous streams, they asked me to turn it down so they could hear, like, you guys, so... Um... <laughs> I'm gonna keep things muted on the playback, but if someone has a question about music, let me know and I'll unmute so I can remember what's playing. Right. Heels pit stop. Eating <laughs> I love all these. Well, I mean, oh, I'm a... yeah. oh, you can see. Oh man, yep. Ooh. Stuff on a diner there. Yeah. yeah, that's a pretty little neon uh, logo. Uh, oh crap! Who designed that? I can't. So... I... Was that Jesse that did that logo? It might have been. It's cool. I feel. I love it because it it immediately has a different vibe. It feels. Yeah. It feels more. You know. I feel like all these are going in these like almost like indie movie. Yeah, genres. I got a chill like, when I saw the logo. <laughs> I was yeah, like, yeah it's really good. immediately has a different sort of vibe. So I didn't want to say it at the moment, but you in that shot, that opening shot before it cuts to the logo, you can actually see Kenny and his truck. Got that picture of Dennis. Dennis. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what, what are the missing pictures? Oh, is that, Dennis that, Lennart? That, post, that profile drawing was of Dennis Lennart that was around the office. That, that printout was just like around. I don't remember why, but Funny. it was just one of those. Well, it's because he office. grew that mustache for a while. Oh man, that's right. <laughs> but yeah, so you saw you saw oh. uh, really tiny in the background. You saw Kenny and his pickup truck, and someone's running towards him. And if you remember from episode one, he's talking about the, the fact that he got like assaulted by a crazy person at a gas station, and that's what that was. Gotcha. So like, yeah, it, it becomes clear, but like the 400 days is referring to like 400 days from the start of like day one of the apocalypse. So, yeah. hey, uh, so I'm now realizing that this is a menu, which I choose one of our five new protagonists here. Um, so there's, I guess, is there a specific, is that a T? Is that a T? What is... Oh, that's Grady. That's Grady standard. What's the totally cinematic artist? What's... Uh, yeah. Oh, Telltale Games. Telltale Games. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> really <laughs> dumb moment. The and they were like, we could just draw some random people on here. And so obviously, in true Telltale style, we just drew each other. <laughs> right. Game. That's awesome. Yeah, absolutely a Telltale shirt. Is there a specific, is there a specific character you all want to start with? Or... No, you should you pick whoever. I guess we'll just start with the first one, which is Vince. Over here. All you. That's the order of my document, so that makes it easy for me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited. Like, yeah, I um, I love, I loved playing the season one. So to play something a little different, but also to have like five mini stories, you know, like I love anything that has like connected really? by an overall theme, you, but is still I told you it wasn't me, man. Gives you all more freedom to do different things. Man, come on! Sure. I told you like like twenty times. <sighs> I don't even, I don't even know your brother! Oh. Sorry there's a lag for you guys, but, uh, shots fired. It's so weird seeing, like, a whole new character. I'm, I got so yeah. used to season one. <laughs> um, I mean, it'll be... The artist did such a good job of, like, re like making new characters out of, like, the parts of an old character. Like, yes. they did such a good job of, like, just mishing and mashing faces and Geo and stuff, and, like, taking characters and like like they just extremely talented at, at not on the cheap but like really efficiently making new characters out of it's kind of assets we still had <laughs> right and i mean that was lee's family's drugstore yeah yep. yeah was that lee's family's drugstore yes yeah it was wow so ditched the gun oh, right man. outside of it yeah super smart man yep. 
I guess. When it, when it, I hate when I make a decision and the game's like, they'll remember this or you did this. Because in the <laughs> second I do that, I'm like, dang it, that was a decision that mattered. <laughs> What's your problem, right. man? Oh, relax. Well, it forces you to take everything you do seriously. Yeah. <laughs> right. Which is, which is you the best. Know. It does get me back into the moment of like, okay, I need to actually pay attention to what I'm doing. I don't need to... Sometimes the best decision is no decision. <laughs> Yep, it's too hot. And yeah, sometimes I, that's I, the worst decision too. <laughs> you can let it yeah, run yeah, out. Letting, yeah. letting it run out. Yeah. <laughs> you guys ever gonna quit? I remember I having to do a time. lot of sitting down with like the hey, tech man. guys and being like, okay, how but how's this chain gonna work? Because like we didn't have a lot of like really advanced like physics for like linked objects. Like it's obviously a lot of work to get to look good and be really like we had to draw like schematics for like each person is tied by this part of their leg and it's tough and it's a chain that loops through loops on the ground so it's not free wheeling all over the place like there was a lot of work that like it was such a big and it was important obviously we had to get it right and we needed it to tell the story but it was one of those things that like you telling me there wasn't boy we really bit off a lot when we were like and then chains will be in the game and all the tech guys are like Gonna what? The point <laughs> but the point is, For how long? I'm not like that. Yeah. yeah. It's such a great little bottle. Work, guys. Yeah. I'm afraid yeah. to say it. I'm really missing my girlfriend right now. I'm guessing she's pretty pissed at you. It's worse than that, man. Yeah, this is um. I haven't heard her voice in months. I wasn't expecting to be on a prison bus. So uh. <laughs> Just let it go. Definitely, I have I no to, um. You know, I have I no, I mean, like, literally 100% blind to this, so I'm just I know you're right, man. going through it. I will tell you, it's not the best place Danny, to be I know you don't at the beginning of a zombie apocalypse. Right. <laughs> it just it gives you a wondering. I already was really antsy in the back of a police car at the beginning of season one, so, you know, to say, in a, in a chain gang on a prison bus, not an upgrade. Stop <laughs> ideal. <laughs> Shut I thought you took the there. stand and cried your eyes out. I'm telling you again. Didn't you lose your shit and tell them you didn't oh. know what you were doing? Oh, I'll set you I lied. Up. Turns out I'm good at that. You lied when, on the One stand. thing I, that was cool about this yes, is, you know, with a lot, with all these Religion? all Telltale no. games, really, as, as seasons went along, it was always important what, to kind of it's strike a balance right. between uh, tough call. Why do more time reuse music and new clean, music? Man. You know, because there, there wasn't, you know, there was never enough budget or time to have every single thing be new ever and. In fact, I you wouldn't necessarily want that because we have themes that you want to bring they were back, getting into. Et um, now here I am. But for this, because it was such a unique thing and different genres and five on TV. really separate stories, Fuck. it had, How did I think, as much anyway? new music as like, like the uh, first episode of, uh, of season one did, which uh, you know, was kind obviously of all new. But shit? It, there was Fuck all Wall of this Street. new music. That Fuck had Wall Street. Fuck Wall Street. Just looking at this list. How much did you make off with anyway? Enough. So like a couple I, uh, a little over a hundred. <laughs> I'm I'm sorry, I'm I'm God listening, damn, but also boy. I'm like oh, Why no sorry, I'm I'm talking over your your Right. No, you're good. Important you're good. decisions here. <laughs> very like very much fine. I just wanna make sure that they don't say Maybe something like yeah, father. Yeah, Vincent. like this. Like um I'm innocent, I killed Two those kids. assholes, I you helped my brother. Kids, Vince. I helped right. my little brother. It's some of the dialogue, it's <laughs> like, you know, like, oh, like, he was in you know, blah, blah, blah. But then I'm like, oh, crap, this is vision. <laughs> I knew it was something stupid. I confided in them. You regret it, man? If you're saying what I think you I, uh, I got respect for you, man. I don't regret it at all. Don't regret a thing. Sometimes I got to do the hard thing. <laughs> Hardcore. I had a bad, I had a bad time in season one different. where I we would be just... And? Some stupid shooting the breeze, having a blast, and then I'm like, wait, crap, what'd they just say? In. Like, what, 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 uh... Yeah. Bad luck, Vince. Bad luck, but, um, Vince. <laughs> That's not bad. Bad luck, Vince. What do you think, Justin? All right. What the fuck are you gonna do fuck about you. it? Fuck you. Fuck me. Oh. <laughs> fuck you, motherfucker. I feel like now that there oh, is... I ten... Okay. Grab tree, yeah. knock it off! Yeah. Ooh. Hey, uh, get in there, man. Yeah. Sit down, goddammit! Hey, let him go, man. That's not ideal. <laughs> Damn it, Crabtree! Don't make me come back He's there gonna now. kill him, Vince! 
Let the guard handle it, guys. Yeah, I love like we gotta get in there. Some shit starts happening. You're like, like you literally shit, can't leave your seat. Vince, like, you cannot get out. Right. You know like, this. I would right. love to help that person, I'm but I'm not doing any more time to say some stupid All you have is your little dialogue. Where's your common fucking sense? Do anything with these damn chains on. Shit. The guy behind him looks like a. One last time, goddamn it! You gotta get in there. Wait that shit up, man. This is awful. Tell Tell Bruce. Yeah, yeah. Let him go. Crabtree, I'm warning you. Crabtree, do something. Last warning. I said, go, goddamn it! Oh. I didn't expect him to do that. Oh, and he did something. He told him to do something. Yeah, I should have been a little bit more specific. What did you do, boy? God damn it, boy! Answer me back there. That guy's still alive. My first week. Get those oh, no. cuffs off him, man. Still alive? What do you mean, still alive? You shot him in the head. I think the other guy. I think the guy who's like... choking. Oh, okay. <laughs> what the hell was that? He's still that? like being choked by like the, he, he like he collapsed by his, his weight all around. Yeah. Him. He made a move, or you don't know. Which one? He's still oh breathing. Oh my gosh. He's uh. Fucking fuck. Yeah, I watched this guy shoot him in the face. Someone, so I was man. like, no, he's not what? alive. It's like, oh, the other guy. Yeah, right. I'm calling <laughs> this in. Don't, don't oh. call it in yet. Just, you just kill that okay? guy. You gotta deal just with give this. Me a damn he, he might, might still, still be, alive. be alive. Call a damn ambulance, man. I just need a minute. I need a minute to think. <laughs> I need a minute to shut think. Up, you hear me? Just shut your mouth. Okay. Okay, okay, calm uh, down. Okay, it's not the best. I'll calm yeah. down. You can <laughs> yeah, for real. Down. It's, it's not, not a job for this guy. I think. Before you get someone else killed. Oh, you're gonna get started oh. with me now? Vince. Ooh, sorry. It's okay. Just back off. This is, um. You don't need to take it down a notch. Fight the situation. You really want to pull that trigger again, son? <laughs> Louise. Yeah, please don't make me drag a dead body through this thing. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, now the zombies. Did you see that? I saw it. I think that's yeah. I, yeah. I think you uh you you'll see those characters. Hey, again. you gotta get us the hell oh, out the of here. We're not going anywhere. Fuck that. Get this bus moving. Hey, drive. Let's go, you man. We're staying right here. We're safe inside the bus. Nothing's gonna yeah, those hold things. The oh, okay. Jesus. I was about to say I was worried about them flipping oh the bus, yep. but hey, now I'm not worried about that hey, anymore. You need to call someone. <laughs> yeah. You know worry about. It's, it's, it's going on now. Dude, that dude ran. Oh, Jesus. No. Yeah, he fails. It's so good. Back back up, up. Yeah, is his chain still holding him pretty much in place? Okay. So far. Yeah, we're guys. safe inside the we're bus. We're safe inside the bus. <laughs> yeah. What are we doing, guys? Come on. We uh, do is there something. a? I'm trying to think. <laughs> asks, is can you get the cop right riled up enough that the main Where's character the gets killed yeah. for yeah, speed running gun. purposes? Great question. I don't even know. I mean, <laughs> it's probably is possible. It? It's definitely the kind of thing that feels like Telltale would put in the game if you're assassinating the guy that he'd shoot you. But I honestly don't know. Right. Oh man. This is crazy. You should buy a copy of this game and find out for this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, picking up the rifle. <laughs> Shoot this asshole, Vince! Do it! Woof. Sorry. God, uh, yeah, he's just like, he, he falls onto the rifle. I forgot about that. Oh, jeez. Oh, watch it, man. <laughs> Sorry. Man, I can't believe this shit. Can you believe That's... this shit, man? No. I mean, like, I, I obviously I, I knew I was getting here. into the zombie apocalypse, but like, nothing. Of, <laughs> I'm gonna, yeah. I'm gonna take care of you, buddy. <laughs> um, well, I love this too, cause it, cause it, since it's day two, right? Like, it's by the end of the season one, you know, everyone knows, everyone you meet has been living it for however many months, whatever. Right. But I love, I love that in the story. It's like nobody has any idea what the hell is going on, so it's like it's all fresh. Yes. Yeah. What are you doing? Can't do um, anything until we get out of these damn chains. Like what? what, what why why is people doing this? What? 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 What's gone into them? And yeah. you know, you don't know. Like, for me, it's like see a zombie, shoot it. For them, it's like I can't believe we're about to shoot this guy. You they? know? Yeah. Right. Like, yeah. He was totally alive two minutes ago. Yep. 
Okay. Maybe we finally caught a break. Danny, hey, don't. buddy. No, don't. Talk to the fuck? zombie. <laughs> God damn it, Danny. You always yeah, they don't know any better, right? Like, well, you, man. Oh, man, there's Daddy, a guy. <laughs> Half his face is blown off, but he's still there. God, is he... Is that That's dude wearing the, uh... Fire the fucking gun! Uh, yeah, he's wearing the, the fake FEMA group that we made up. <laughs> right. <laughs> RS. Vince, so there's, like, FEMA, uh, substitute guys here already that are already dead, man. <laughs> I think you just pissed them off. Yeah. Yeah, save the shells. Yeah, maybe don't shoot them in the chest. <laughs> maybe they don't know what's happening. Them. Yeah. <laughs> right. Well, man, I don't know what to do about these chains, because the, the gun didn't do a Try whole lot. Chains. Try the chains. Well, maybe if I... Need those chains. How the hell are we going to get out There's of here? There's got to be a way. Can't we just... Shoot off the chains? No way! I just what tried you, that. <laughs> Were you we not here? Off, the chain will yeah. right out. Are you fucking insane? Shoot the cuff. What do you cuff? think is gonna happen if you fire a shotgun that close to someone's well, what do I you wouldn't trust a pistol that close to my Vince, my ankle let alone a shotgun. Yeah. Gotta do this. Not. Nope. <laughs> it's not a good solution. Back off. Nope. But <laughs> back off. All right. What am Vince, I? What the fuck? I'm not gonna shoot. Okay, shoot. I, uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Shoot him in the face. Uh, hey, I know you're a good so guy. Well, I don't. Guess what? Guess what you're gonna have to do. I'm sorry, man. Oh Fuck man. You. Wait. Do it. Hurry. I love when you turn to them. They kind of like. They're like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Who's annoyed you more? Uh, oh Jesus. Yeah, you, you make you do it. Absolutely. Yeah, you thought you were not doing it. <laughs> Keep going. Kelly's <laughs> not enough. Oh. Yes. Oh, why? Come on, let's yeah, go. oh, that's the telltale. That's the secret sauce. Right? Like, oh. oh, you thought it was going to take one shotgun? One collect to blow his leg off? No, it's going to take two. Did yeah. we just leave him? Yeah, He's... bye. Holy crap! <laughs> yeah. Uh, he's, well. he's, moved. he's just, just got to get moving, bro. He... Oh, yeah. my gosh. <laughs> Holy and that's the end that's of that it? chapter. <laughs> Yeah. That's all? <laughs> oh no! So I don't even know <laughs> at the moment. I don't know if they survived. Uh, most likely nope. the dude did not survive. Um, in time will remember that. How dare you? Um, okay. Well then, on to Wyatt, I guess. Um, seems like as good a thing as anything. Oh, do you mind getting me? God, this is so fucked! Why the hell did you shoot that guy, man? What the hell yeah, was that? I didn't mean to do it. it just I think happened, the idea. Okay? Well, I know Where the, the idea. The idea was. Uh, I know. I know. <laughs> I didn't so, the so, but, so the guy driving the car here is looks shit. exactly like it's just modeled entirely after our friend, well, our friend just... Chris Robert, who at this time I didn't, I hadn't met yet. He's yeah. Sean Ainsworth, the, the oh, yeah, direct, basically the main uh, director of this whole thing. Oh right, his brother. Uh, him, and it's so funny because I got to know this, and I remember him saying like, it, it looks just like my brother. And I'm like, oh cool. And then like what, two two years later, three years later, Chris came to work at Telltale. Wow. And, uh, and he was sort of like at the helm for Walking Dead season four. Um, oh, shit, man. Did you get up? It's just are they back there? hilarious. Why? <laughs> Dude, are they there or not? Come on. Uh, uh, maybe they maybe crashed. crashed. You crashed. I love the yeah. designs of these characters. Yeah. Y'all did. I uh, like definitely a great job of showing the diversity here, of here, people going off. through this crap. Because like, um, even season one had like a very, like, there were plenty of different people with different looks. Um, yeah. But you can definitely tell you all had fun with some of these designs. <laughs> oh, yeah. God, and, and Wyatt's wearing a Chris Rubbert, like, band shirt. As well. oh, I mean, literally. <laughs> I'm not being an asshole. I'm being smart. No lights, Sean, no, I think Sean uh, Ainsworth actually wrote this you know, as well. I think he was just like, hey, can y'all just give me a favor? And we were like, absolutely, sure. Or the artist. I don't think it's mine. Um, somebody was mentioning how short they were. And the, so cow. the when we decided to settle, anything. originally Holy it was going to be one I should episode watch six out for or whatever. Cows. It was going to be one full episode. Why didn't I think of that? When's the last time you saw a cow, dude? 
Okay. Uh, and when we decided it. to make an we anthology, still hit did, something, man. we settled on like, okay, well, like, we need to make each episode Don't barf about just one yet, okay? specific Please. moment, like one this specific road is really straight. effed up we'll be choice fine. the player has to make. At least uh, slow and, down. And, and then we have what? to get out. Like, Fuck leave no. them with did the choice. Did you see that one guy's eyes, man? He's fucking gorked. I don't want that guy in my life, Wyatt. Because we knew that if we're going to do, you know, 20 minutes, 15 minute things and like, Five Dude, or so you of them. Are covered gonna, in that guy's blood. We're running out of running time. I know really why. My shirt um, is soaked. So, like, it's what, like, what I unique just, why didn't decisions say anything? can you, would you encounter? Guys, taking a shit over there. World, That's all they had to uh, say. Don't Did you mean to pull the trigger? And, and like, and, and I don't, don't know. require a ton of like so keyed up. I just, you know, pay off like long tail after it's done. Look, uh, it was kind Wyatt, of the general tone. All I know is those guys had me on stories. Uh, Jacked up. If I remember correctly, like I was on speed. I was, talking to Shawnee's about this I was just day. on edge, you know. There was a point when we said, "Okay, it's gonna be an anthology." Like they were like, "Just submit." They had like five or six writers, and like, just submit like ten proposals Sorry, for a story, man, I... like wow. sentence story. So they started with like fifty different ideas, and the, and the writers like whittled it down to the five that you see in, in well, this. Well, uh, thanks for getting us out. Anyway. But it, it, we started with just we just went wide. Like, what kinds of crazy things fit in this world that? a couple of characters would get into and it yeah I mean I will punch your eyes <laughs> so uh, for those who were reading See, the subtitles this guy blew out the brains of another guy because he was all hopped up on like we're in the clear. thumb drug um and now we are currently running from That's his buddies <laughs> and we have no idea was that a that zombies are in our near future. When did you start making puns? But it's 41 days in. It's like a month and a half in. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so they, they know they know something about zombies, but it's still <laughs> still very much not a. Uh, All right, let's Tom. No one's that. no one's like weathered and like seasoned at this point. Gotcha. Why is it so you never had a girlfriend again? This is the one that has the John Carpenter vibe as oh, it goes along. Yeah. Like, yeah. This is this is my favorite one to score because it was so wildly different from anything. That had been in season one, right? Oh yeah, it kind of op opened up a whole world of like slightly larger than life, you know, sound options for I don't see future anything. stuff. Oh yeah, dude, it's in there. Look harder. I don't see it. What I, I do uh, see if you hear is that little puppy barking by last week. A dog's just got out of the really? and they're very excited. But is there any weed? <laughs> they love The Walking Dead. Oh, you know, yeah. one time I was going out with this girl, right? <laughs> This is definitely, uh, and we'll see it in a minute. This is an this Thank you. Loading the gun is probably more important right this second. Thanks. That I prototyped for. Okay. Mark and I prototyped for Walking Dead. Oh, I'm trying to try some new stuff for. Oh! Yep. Look up. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. He was asking me to Holy get the shit. weed, I think, and I was Did like, I'd rather load the gun. And he's like, that's that weird. Guy. And then hit Why? a guy. <laughs> Come on, man, say something. Was that a dude or not? What the, uh, the fucking fuck? Oh, it couldn't have been a human. This night is so fucked, man. It didn't look human. Alive. Whatever. Really? Seriously? I, I'm, I'm getting seriously? I'm getting major um Look like Shaggy and, and Scoob vibes from these. <laughs> you heard like me like just keep driving, man. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. like floor it, Scoob. <laughs> yep. Let's and um. The car. And they're already <laughs> high. Like they don't know. Like they're like, that what should we do, cool. man? <laughs> I'm not leaving if we hit a human being, man. I'm just um, not. I'm not leaving if we hit a human. Ah. Uh, Go check it, you nerds. <laughs> Man, don't roll it down broken. I can't see through the cracks. Hey, Look, you, you cool hard. back there? God, I love he just rolls the window down. <laughs> Dude, what's that on the broken side mirror? Especially with it being like hey, a busted window. The shirt, I think. Yeah, they haven't I'm quite gotten their uh, zombie on. apocalypse game down okay. yet. Oh, yeah. yeah, I think that was, that was <laughs> definitely, I think, what Sean was going for. Like, they're just too ding-dongs like, like, like there's something going on in the world anyway you guys want to get high <laughs> yeah yeah dude hand me the oh, weed i need to calm down from shooting <laughs> that dude's head out dark uh, yep. brains out of his back of his damn head. man i'm really not um, seeing anything yeah so if you're not gonna get out of the car man maybe it's time to drive because like roll down your window <laughs> some piece of that guy I don't the <laughs> that's... man i don't know Ugh. look so did you find the weed or? It was a guy. <laughs> Are you sure? Yes. How sure? 
pretty fucking sure. No. Don't take ecstasy with the prostitute, sure. Don't take ecstasy, ecstasy with the so prostitute, sure. What do we do? Sure. What do you mean, what do we do? We go out there. <laughs> uh, uh, go out go there and out what? Go out there and what? Find Question. a guy and help him. Who the hell are you tonight? If it's a guy. It's a guy. I saw him. And why is Scooby the one driving in my scenario? Come on, man. <laughs> because Shaggy go out there. We check canonically out. We doesn't know how to drive. <laughs> <laughs> but he Scooby, can't be but Scooby might. <laughs> in fact, I want to say Dude, the mystery I'm the machine I'm the one who hit him. is not me. necessarily Freddy's vehicle, but he's oh, the only Next one of the gang that has his driver's license. Because in the original show, they're like 16, like they're 15 and he's 16. Even though they don't look or sound at all like okay. 15 or 16 no. year olds, well, but um, okay. if I remember correctly, the only reason he drives is because he's the only one with a actual license. God, that's extremely good. Are you fucking serious? <laughs> that's good lore. No. Oh my god, I forgot that Sean wrote a whole like rock paper scissors game. Oh crap! Are you serious? Uh, man, I can't believe the nickname the nickname for this episode was Rochambeau. That's, that's, right. that's Rochambeau. like what I have it listed as in my yeah, document. Thank yeah. you. I totally forgot about awesome. that. One, two, three. Oh no 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 no! Dad, gummit. Man. Okay. All right. Wait, I got One, two, scissors and you had rock. Three. Why are you upset? Fuck! What are the chances of that? I think they're okay. just generally bummed. One, yeah. Two, <laughs> About the whole situation. <laughs> Shit, man. Wait, are you doing best two out of three? That's insane. Okay. Again. He's like, man, this is fun, and I'm just like, shut up, dude. Yeah. Scissors. Who fucking I just love scissors? how dumb they are. It's so good. Right. <laughs> this is it. How is this it, man? I got like One, two. Two. Are we doing best three out of five or something? Damn it! I almost picked scissors, yeah, but I get changed out there, it in the last fucking second. Moron. <laughs> Looks like it's me. Two out of three. Got a trophy. Thank you, game. <laughs> So much right. like Chris, Chris. I know. It's like, all right, Chris, time to get to business. Like, yeah. <laughs> time to send him out. Oh, great. What's his real name? Eddie? Eddie. Yeah, Eddie. Eddie. Yo, Eddie! Oh, my God. I forgot. Okay, so this you whole sequence can totally yeah. play different, differently. Way, man. Oh, man. I hate... Wow, I totally forgot this. I hate Eddie. that I'm, like, in okay. control of myself right now. Do you he just, like, disappears into the fog. God. Goddamn thing. Uh, ah! <laughs> yeah, okay, so if you lose, you go out there and you see a totally different sequence. Oh, wow, really? Yeah, so you absolutely, like, it totally, like, branches a lot. Oh, man. Hey, Wyatt. And I think we were able to do a little more of that in this because they were so limited. Because it was, like, basically one scene per vignette. And so there could be a little bit more branching than we were normally able to yeah. do. Oh, this is awful. Resource wise. The uh, yeah, man. Oh. Too dark to see. Dark to see. Oh, turn on the little light then. Oh, they're uh, uh keys. The All right. Well, we at least have the keys in the ignition. Shit! Whoa, 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 whoa! Here, God, what a good it. shot! Oh man, that was so great. Okay. <laughs> Get uh, the reveal of the lights is very good. Okay, grab it, grab it, grab it. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, and is it time to floor it? <laughs> Once we have that one gun model, it's just every gun, every pistol in the game is. <laughs> is that one pistol? Yeah. Oh yeah. You know, I mean, it's just a popular thing. Right okay, so we left Eddie behind. What? What do I do about that? <laughs> Totally bailed on Eddie. Quiet, quiet as a drag. Oh my gosh. That's it? Oh no! Abandoner! Yeah, you left it. Ah! Oh, well, I didn't think it was an option. I thought he was dead. Probably was. Oh. Oh man. So if you if you go out <laughs> there, since obviously you're not going to play it play it again on the stream. If you go out there, you have a secret where you find the guy you hit. And it's the it's the bus driver from from yeah. Eddie's uh, story. So it's like the the guy driving the prison bus, and 
the mechanic that we designed is the press and hold, which became like a stock standard thing in season two. That's right. Uh, but we yeah, didn't have yeah. press and hold, like press and, and move. Um, and like to like drag, like. Yeah, we had the like, button mash, but we didn't have like hold down A and pull right. back on the stick. So I designed this whole thing where like, and, and my, my prototype was different, but the general idea was like, you're dragging a guy back to a truck. Uh, and there's a timer because the guy in the truck's going to leave you eventually. And I think that like, while Sean was kind of figuring out what the story was, he saw that mechanic and it kind of inspired the story of like, you hit a guy, you have to go find him, you drag him back. And then at some point, like Eddie, I think leaves you. Um, uh, well, there's so a whole, whole big zombie action sequence that comes. Yeah. That, that, so like yeah, if you're that, dragging yeah, the guy, see. zombies come start coming out of the side of the road, like out of the woods, out of the fog. Uh, and you have you can't shoot them. You have a gun, but you can't shoot them unless you drop the guy. Right. Uh, so you have to stop stop progressing to yeah. towards the car in order to kill off. the yeah. zombies. Wow. And then uh, go back. And I think at least in my prototype, the the person in the car was like trying to turn the car over, and it was stalling. And so the guy and the, the, the idea was like, as soon as that car starts, he's going to leave you. Yeah. Right. The mechanic there was like the tension of like, like the go, timer. Go, go, go. Of, like I need to go. How how far can I go before I have to drop the guy and shoot the gun? Right. Uh, and you kind of like, it was like two spinning plates. So I think that like Sean saw that and was like, that's a perfect thing to write a story about. Yeah. Um, and now in like episode two and on, and, or season two forward, like the press and move the stick or press and do something became like a thing we did all over the place. Uh, but this was the very first time it was in the Telltale Tool was in, in Eddie's or in Wyatt's story. Uh, but it's so funny that you can just completely miss that whole thing. I, yeah, I, I mean, I I got out of there. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Yeah, I would have. Oh I totally would have. Well, I mean, with the rock, paper, scissors mechanic, I mean, I was I was trying my best, but, like, I, you know, didn't have to do rock, paper, scissors. I could have refused. Um, yeah. It's been a totally different scenario. Hey, well, I guess we're moving on to Shell then. Um, this has been quite interesting. <laughs> yeah, it's very different. So far, I have had my heart broken twice in two very short instances. <laughs> boy, oh boy, well. <laughs> well, there's, Just there's three more, so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Four, I guess, technically. Yeah. Oh man, Becca's guitar. Yep. Oh, this is the most fun <laughs> thing in the world. To like <laughs> make music for like a fourteen year old who doesn't really know how to play the guitar. Yeah, it was it was a fun task. <laughs> I love that uh, uh, young people in the apocalypse Ooh. always learned the guitar in all uh, zombie apocalypse yeah. media. Yeah. Apparently, oh yeah. Good, huh? yeah. Why wouldn't? Well, you? now they got free yeah. time. Yeah. Exactly. That's that. very true. She yeah. Needs something to focus on besides. Because I mean, I've got. And a, you never. Everything else. And it's not a world where you need to be quiet for any reason. So. Right. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. You know. Might as well pick up an instrument. I. Uh, <laughs> I'm, trying I'm trying to protect her from it. I. Uh, Things are stable. It's like here I've got a ukulele. I want to that I have this, not very much not learned how to play. And um, <laughs> if I was in the zombie apocalypse, I'd probably make the time. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you can't play things like it's, piano it's very shit. easily, can you? You need something right. with you. Right. Ukulele, I would say, is the best uh, best beginner stringed instrument to learn. Especially if you need to be running from is that, Yeah, especially if I'm being mobile. So, there we go. Yeah. Uh, you can just, you can yeah. play and run. Yeah, you know? Hold it with one hand. Thanks, sis. <laughs> The only thing that would have been like better is if I had chosen a banjo and I could have made ominous banjo music as oh, I'm running man. from running from zombies. We, we messed up by not doing that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> from keeping this place safe. That's You've always made the wrong charm, choice. Charm the zombies with your banjo. We could all use a little more music in our lives. Uh, Did I ever tell you that I used to play in a band? Yes, Roman. Was it amazing though? She doesn't want to hear about it. Uh, <laughs> that is a great best car music I heard today. In that case, let's get back to work. So, I, I'm being mean to the 14 year old. And, the, the, <laughs> and this thing, you know, was like, sure this is 236 days in. So, like, okay. obviously, they are very yeah. much you want to help me and in the thick of it. Inspection? Yeah, You're cool. bummed. You check the flashlights this time. Uh, I'll look over the guns. I'm going to hold my comment for later. In the I just, uh, uh, uh. Maybe. Okay, but be careful. Um, People's lives depend on I don't, us. We can't have them screwing up because we got lazy. I um. Show when you get a set. I just wish someone after she played her guitar, someone dogs. said, "Learn a different freaking song." Like you know, just yeah. like so upset. The one song she knows. Like, yeah. Like I hear "Happy Birthday" one more time. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like 
Yeah. What oh. did Roman want? I don't know. Uh, the yet. first free walk. The first free out? walk in 400 yeah, days. Yeah, in a sec. Yeah, I'm finally, like, I'm actually in control <laughs> for the first oh, Still one short. You're not chained into we a car or We never found the other flashlight? Bus. Right. Nope. Still in the corn. person who voices yeah. Shell is Sissy Jones. Do you um, guys need help? Nah, we got this. Who? Right, Becca? We we'll go ahead and help Roman out back. All, all these various other things. I'm trying to remember who Dark. else was, was in this. Yeah, I can't remember either. Aaron uh, was Bonnie. I feel like um, AJ Lacasio was somebody, maybe? I honestly can't remember. I, I'm so looking long. it up now on IMDb. Um, let's see. Because I, I directed a few of these sessions, but not. Uh, it was almost all Julian for this one because I was pretty swamped with, with composition. Smells stuff. good. I, uh, KDRF asked, does this location show up again in season? I don't believe so. Uh, so the idea behind 400 days was like the whole shtick was that it would be 400 days in the apocalypse, but like centering around a common location. Um, right. And so it, it, you know, obviously, like Wyatt's in, in Wyatt's episode, you do actually drive by the, the gas station. <gasps> you you scared me. Lead, so you're near it. So it's not He's just hungry. a gas station, but it's like yes, the he area around it. Time. Hey, look at that guy! Look at that bus driver guy. Oh, um, there he is again. He died. You know There's how he died. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Uh, uh, I feel bad for it. Yeah, why are we feeding the zombie? Wait for him to be useful. You know. Uh, Keeps other zombies away. She wouldn't mind yeah, doing it. Uh, Mask the smell. About it's this. like a. Uh, he doesn't need to deal with this it's, kind it's of thing. It's to keep Listen, like. I know you think out, I giving her an easy life. Right. Best. Uh, and the yeah. smell makes this covers up the human smell. Oh. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so they, they, this gas it's station better was supposed than the to be like some kind of pivotal I'd rather she have a shorter, happy experience in this world than one full of fear and death it. and horror. Not at it, but as long as she knows how to protect um, herself, it's so, fine. Uh, I don't want her to stop that was the That was the idea, and I think that it was okay. intended that like, we don't really like want to come back What's to that this location way? again, because we I don't know. kind of explored all I'll of check the it out. space. I gotta get back out front. Looking forward to that suit. So, I don't believe, I could be wrong, I didn't, I only worked on the final episode of season two, but I'm pretty sure that this is much closer to like what happens like the location to like the uh, the motel yeah. and so like Clementine's house then uh like it, like this is very close to atlanta then i think season two kind of gets further and further away from that setting. gotcha one thing about season two though is that uh, at least uh a handful of the characters from this do they do show up uh without giving too much away but that, that you that you see a number of them all together. Is that like a hog? Yeah. yeah. Puppy? <laughs> yeah. Hasn't <laughs> been climbing trees. Yeah. I. <laughs> here's my note in my uh, cue sheet. Linear sad number seven. She is eating a dead puppy, and it really upsets Shell. <laughs> I will... Start as mystery build-up, then very sad, oh, horrible, Jesus, depressing, as she sees and watches. Again. There you Whoa. go. Okay, so um, I, do I um, you don't get all pissed off. <laughs> uh, so I will say, um, I love the, the musical cues in uh, Sam and Max. I've been replaying season one because of the remaster that's coming out. Um, right on. So yeah. I I'm so glad that like there's just, notes that are like they know, say was, they do this they say this so you know this this and this because like think about anymore, <laughs> your but note about eating a, a puppy kind of it's just this is bad. It. yeah That's well because for a lot of these you know by, by the time we get to the end of the production of it I can look at it and see it but a lot of when I'm then, starting you know, work on a lot of these is. stuff isn't built out yet so it's we have a script and we have stuff but the, it like the director just describing it and showing some concept art it's sometimes all I have to go on initially so those little <laughs> very descriptive silly things are super useful right and then as it gets built I can play it and kind of adjust but... oh yeah for sure. outside oh, what is it I don't know, something bad. Um, we gotta find Roman. For those that can yeah. see, this is my puppy, Sadie. Aww. Little, little poop, poodle puppy. Um, mm -hmm. Sadie and Archie can come visit. Uh, come board. here, Archie. everyone. Archie, come here. Shit. Come on, we gotta find Roman. 50 pounds. <sighs> That's easy. Boy, 
floor. It's okay to be pissed. <laughs> oh my god. Archie! Surprise. <laughs> <laughs> what did you do? So, all I did was put on the blindfold his little face and all. His wrist. Somebody else it. beat him all up. Cut. You already Instead of having his thick bruises. beard, he Watch actually has a poodle snout. To steal supplies. Is he bitten? No. They didn't get Oh, so... The bummer here. That was the perfect time to, like, turn away from <laughs> 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 For me to just miss this whole thing. And I don't think he speaks mm. English. I can't believe he just snuck the in. second break-in we've had in the last couple of weeks. Last time we couldn't catch him. And they got away with more medicine than we could afford to lose. Got away with medicine. Well, we all know what it's like trying to survive out there. He just came in here for food. Let's just give him some. Ah, uh, this is uh. More of them. He could have been scouting. Shut up, Karen. That's right. I uh. <laughs> this is too dangerous. Let him go. Let him stay. We should just let him go. I mean, nobody travels alone by choice anymore, right? I don't know. Right, right. We should just let him go. I'm sorry. Why? <laughs> We've all done the same thing trying to survive. We don't have to be responsible for him, but we can give him some food and let him take his own it's chances. It's not about his chances, it's about ours. What's to stop him from coming back and armed next time? We could always use more and hands keeping the place secure. Boy, speak up we don't for need himself. Any more here. And look at him. How is he he gonna... can't even speak English. Yeah. This group works I think they because say we that know he how to Yeah, communicate. she just said that. Uh, um. Are you That's judging racist. him based on race? Of course not. But come on. <laughs> well, he's not staying here. You let in a stranger, and everything starts breaking down. The Ugh. last time we did that, we lost Bree. And then Vernon with that goddamn boat. <clears throat> Vernon and the boat are the reason the group fell apart. Not trusting Vernon and strangers. the boat? That's not well, connected was to out season for one, the is it? The whole time. Oh, is it? The second they was Vernon the guy? Ended, we just mm -hmm. stole yeah. it. So this is actually the, the cancer That's survival group that you found in, uh, in Savannah. Wow, they, they are. And so they're talking about exactly what choice Keeping they're them here is I, ca I mean, I kind of recognize faces, but I wasn't like, yeah. resource. totally sure. That's crazy. Look, we all know what we're talking about here, so hey, let's buddy. stop dancing around it. We either let this guy yeah. go and take yeah, our the chance. Yeah, so they, they specifically call we'll kill him. Uh, the specific choices he made in episode four that that resulted in things going sideways for for that group. Jesus, uh, Christ. are you serious? Romans, this right. is crazy it's that this is the same crew that we ended up. We are letting I think it's part of, like, part it's of that. The only yeah, I mean, like yeah, but I'm telling you, the fact that we ended up kind of screwing him? them over. Is that really the answer? Yeah. Um, Stephanie. You know, I mean, like looking out for our best interests, but of course, we know where if, right? if both teams say, subject. you know, God is on our There's side, obviously someone's show. wrong. You know, like if we're if we're the good guys, you know, and they're the, guess set them free. Ah. We have to set yeah, him well, that's the whole crux of the whole Walking Dead universe, right? Right. Yeah, there's He's all these groups, armed. and they're we all fighting for him. the same resources. This isn't in and, and no one, it's dangerous to trust people. <laughs> right. Can't come back to and and that it's isn't the same like, thing. yes, it's a, especially in the show, you can have villains, quote-unquote, in The Walking Dead. But, like, most groups are just trying to survive like you are, you know? I honestly think that this, like, Walking Dead story is stronger, and you don't have just, like, a very clear like sociopath yeah like i just That's like killing guy. people <laughs> um, like the thing the strength of walking dead is like that you know there, you there are people in the doing. shades of the spectrum oh, between good and bad like, yeah we're there are definitely people who are worse just as a but, gesture uh, of good everyone just wants to be alive Get him out of here. different people have like you see in episode uh, season two right, word Carver, word I'm saying, where like but that's a that's a group that has a really specific outlook on how to stay alive today right and if you so, ever, and ever, you know, I mean, you think about all those 50 50 decisions, right? And, and there's no clear are. good outcome. And some of those and end up affecting today. other groups' lives and other people. And you're the villain of their story, you know? Oh, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> this, this crazy dude came in and he, he killed Vernon. <laughs> Seriously. And, like, yeah. yeah. Like, Seriously. Like, we were just yeah, on a supply sure. run in a school. And next thing I know, he starts firing at us. <laughs> yeah. Literally. Ah, oh, that's awful. Uh, the, uh, so you actually you see Shell and Becca? Her name's Becca, right? Becca, yes. yeah. Uh, yeah. Becca's run, the kid. That, that's who you see running outside of the uh, prison bus. Oh, wow. Um, yep. So, um, Jade Arif says, were, I miss playing guitar you said three, were they the ones I mean, in the stupid, school, the ones that fun. died? 
Um, I think yeah. so. I think yeah. so. Since the attack, uh, there's a lot we don't do anymore. I think so. With Bree, go. the contest Boy, winner, because at some point we had a contest to be put was the right into the Walking Dead and like kill. Yeah, that's not the zombie. So familiar. They, and so, they talked about and that. That was like a surprise, and they were like, "Uh oh, uh, no!" But like marketing just no. did that and didn't tell us until it was really late. Roman isn't taking chances. Uh, and so we're like, "I guess we gotta figure out a way to like make sure the character is really important." Bree won the contest. And they have to die. Like the part of the context is you die and come back as a zombie. Was that but in 104? No, yeah. no one saw yes. Okay. So she dies in 104 and she's a zombie, a I believe, yes. in, I in the gauntlet going towards the hotel in, just last month. in 105. <laughs> Right. Becca, you know what it looking up in the 104 docs now. Hilarious. Uh, Bree gets eaten. I have. No, that's what I have listed yeah, here. It's the gun Classroom. Gun. Thing death one. So Bree gets eaten. Bad. And I want to have these notes. Apparently, hey. in this scene that's happening right now, get a sec. There's an a, there was an attack because we let the guy go. Um, yeah. Okay. And now not everyone's with the side. You'll see me. Right. Um. Jesus. Yep. Um, yeah. I mean, like being altruistic yeah. doesn't always get you don't take the best, long. you know, the best situation. What was that all about? Ah, uh, yeah, I. Not Probably in the nothing. Walking Dead. Don't worry about it. Nah, no way. <laughs> it was important. Yeah, well, these days everything's important to Roman. I, it's funny. I was here. I was looking back at old Google Docs and I still have the like top down maps from 103 in Google Docs that haven't been opened since 2012 of like <laughs> the scene in the in the motel when all of the bandits attack and like where all the characters have to be moved to and like where they're all st situated and like we just did it on Google Docs which is not how a company should do <laughs> game design but here we are there you uh, go it was available. So, yeah, it was pretty odd. No yeah, it's, and it's like these. obviously changed significantly as you build it. Things obviously change because they don't work. They're not fun. Our characters have to move for whatever reason. Uh, but it was just super fun. Two thousand and twelve. Yeah, the year I graduated high school. <laughs> God, don't say that. Not to, not to. <laughs> Makes you feel uncomfortable. It's aged a million years. <laughs> well, Joyce, do you know what's going if on? It, I don't know if I should say If it that. makes you... Please, what is I it? I guess not makes you... Oh, I've graduated college as well, but I was in college for quite a while, so... <laughs> trying to escape. Oh, my God. Six years. What finally got it do? done. I don't know. What can we do? I'll go talk to Roman. We'll figure it out. So, I guess, um... So, what... Do y'all remember what happened with Becca and the boards? I kind of miss what she did. Apparently she did something that was bad. She stole some stuff, I believe. Oh. Roman? Good. You're here. I think that, like, the the result of stepping. letting that guy go was that things got much worse I'm for sorry. your group. And so there's, like, tension. What are you gonna do? And, like, people are starting to think about leaving the group. You know what we do. I think I think the what guy... I, I, yeah, I can't remember, but if I recall, the guy Toronto ended escape. up being bad news. Yeah. So by letting him go, they, they like came back and stole stuff. Maybe she wasn't. Yeah. Maybe she just wanted to get outside these walls for a while. Ever since the incident, you've made this place feel... I don't know... oppressive? We've made it safe. And she was definitely that's, trying and that's, to um, She had most of our ammo and medicine with her. They just said... She, she just said, ever since the incident... Us. And made it feel oppressive, position, and he's like, I made it feel safe, you here, know, and, and like, go. that's you why America <laughs> would not do good in the, um, the old zombie apocalypse, because, uh... Everybody has different opinions on how to stay safe, right? Right. Oh, it doesn't matter. Uh, uh, and... It matters to me. And no one wants their freedoms taken away. The one but, to let that obviously, there has to be and some variation of chance. control... It was wrong. Otherwise, it will be chaos. Um, right. We're beyond. And, and a sense of community, right? If you're in a group, you, to you, have, to, you have to do us a hundred percent. Yep. Yeah, I think that's. Or right. not be in a group. Let's talk <laughs> to her. Yeah, first. exactly. See if we like, can talk some sense I think into that, her. Uh, Carver no. is such a really compelling villain. She tried to too, sneak out and leave us without any medicine or extra ammo. She knew that on the freedom and safety, like, why are you willing to? Go. We give her a second chance. Uh, and that group is like she doing well. They have like a, so they have like a, a garden. Like if if you're in the group and you're cool with the way Carver runs it, like it's things are pretty swell for you. Uh, you but you have basically you have still have to do whatever together. Carver says. We shoot you. So God, what do I tell Becca? Uh, so yeah, I think so that like you. seeing what groups can you come if you let that kind of person take control and let them do whatever they want is 
super it's like the the bread and butter walking down yeah. right so Shell? i guess what's wrong am i in trouble so i guess um we're gonna have to definitely about step yeah mm -hmm. hard for you to hear it's up about step try to be honest with her hey <laughs> It's your call. It's interesting because this one doesn't have a timer. Usually we're right, get, but I think there's one of those big choices. It's like we will actually want you to just take your time. What I'm gonna say is gonna be hard to hear. What is it? It's Stephanie. She stole a bunch of ammo and medicine and tried to escape. Well, I mean that's awful. Cause oh my god. What the hell did she do that for? Roman says we have to kill her. Yeah. But uh. Why would she do this to us? Oh, She's see. just scared. She made a mistake. That'll be her last mistake. Becca, Stephanie is your friend. Was my friend. Becca's just like, yeah, we should. Roman wants yeah, me to Becca's, do it. Yeah, Becca's Becca's hardcore. I'm sorry. Take this Let's just get go it over with. Your gun's over there. Right. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's like it's like what a year and a half in now, and it, oh, yeah. like a, a kid growing up in this. It, it, I uh, mean, yeah, right. Like, yeah. uh, it's a different. You know, we don't. I mean, have depending to do on this. what you grow up in, we can just go. It's definitely going what? Shape, like, we've survived on our own before. If we just go, we. And do you try to preserve her innocence? Are you crazy? Where would you go? Or do you, or do you harden her to be ready for this world? Yeah. And that was also one of the things in season two of Clementine. Totally. How much of a child do you want to keep longer than we'd survive out there? When Chuck shows up in episode three, he's like, you know the rules. She doesn't get to be a kid anymore. Unfortunately, she does not. Like she has to grow up, learn how to shoot a gun. We don't have a choice. Learn about surviving. This is who we are now. You don't get to be a kid in this world, unfortunately. And I think that you could make a very strong argument that no, you absolutely. What's the point of being alive if you can't be? A kid sometimes i don't want right? this so, to be who yeah, we it's are it's a really interesting just let me do it like, then how hard do you really have to get to survive another mo becca just said let me do it yep ah i'll do it you shouldn't ever have to do something oh. like this oh i just need a second this really sucks sucks yeah <laughs> well yeah, it does Shell, time. Shell, gonna put her out of her misery yet? <laughs> okay, so now I have the Wait. option. Roman's waiting. To drive away, kill Stephanie. Ugh. Shell, come on. I don't know which one to pick. <laughs> Why are you just standing? I love that there's no. I love that there's no timer on these ones. Yeah, yeah. It's I'm actually really. Peter really... F says Shell? don't. JR says, Quite drive excellent. away. Oh, no, there's there's no some trouble. tension in the chat. 50-50 split. <laughs> tension in the chat. Someone say something. Someone else. Okay? Bot, are you still no, there? You got you to gotta learn your, uh, you got to live with your decisions. You got to do All right. it now. How to drive, baby. What are you doing? Shell? <laughs> what the hell? Sit down. Get safe. Uh, uh, you're hey. not giving Shell, you you're yeah. Well, you're sort of a, a parental figure. Take her out. Uh -huh. Oh, well, bot, you're a little too late. <laughs> um, if I take her out, you mean right? take Becca out of that paradise? Thanks. Option. <laughs> See, I would have thought secret option than shoot ourselves. You know, like I was kind of. God, concerned. that might be a little too dark. Yikes. In video game. I God. was concerned. <laughs> After Katja, I We've couldn't... known these characters for 20 minutes and now it's, it's yeah. time to waste them. After Katja, I couldn't uh, <laughs> cast oh. anyone. Oh, God. Well, that's fair. Yeah. That was. Granted, Katja wasn't like our decision, but like after seeing the character do that, I'm like, all right, that is very much an option in characters' minds. <laughs> is yep. Just find a sure. way out. God, what a good opening shot. I love the. I, so good. I've been, comp so good. I've been complimenting. I've been walking forever. This, All season. The cinematic artists are just wizards, man. So good. Real. Well, I mean, like, shoot the, the Sam and Max remaster. Hey, um, you getting up? 
what was really cool is I actually got an okay. uh, access. Uh, oh, good, good, good. Yeah, yeah and... doesn't it look amazing? Oh my gosh! Yeah. And, and just I just played I just played through Culture Shock this morning. Yeah. Uh, on the switch for the first time i'd been playing it when we were working on it and um oh my god man Real quick, it, it's that, so that's the truck amazing <laughs> oh yeah yep that is the truck also you probably couldn't recognize them oh no we'll, we'll, we'll hold on we'll hop on we'll, we'll see how this goes uh what are you gonna do yeah but now? anyway i just wanted to um you see that one of the lights is shot out yes so this is after that i just killed yeah. you he said, you're either stupid as fuck or It's like a year shit. after, right? Yeah. Or, uh, yeah, it's like a hundred days after. Oh, okay. Uh, I don't want no trouble. Please. But, okay. Yeah. Standing out but, uh, like anyway, this. yeah. It's interesting, because if you, if you, if you, uh, have it, if you play Russell please. before you play Wyatt, no you have a totally different opinion. No, right. And the same thing. Maybe you yeah. just walk in this highway looking for some tail. <laughs> You're gonna end up hurting somebody. Hail? I don't think Maybe I'm worried about you right hail now, right now, my friend. Our troubled country some good. But honestly, He's I just one of those guys. Yeah, I'm gonna let you live. Sure is. A little, okay. little disconnected ball, from. I'm not a deep gooder. I'm not gonna. Let physical you. reality. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Living in his own life, in his own world. What's your name? In my notes, this one was called what's Wild. What's my card. name? Ask what. <laughs> wild card. That's right. Yeah. So you yeah, did. Yeah, he is indeed a wild card. Uh, oh no, is that a dead Carly? Or, from, you what do you mean? Maybe you're in a gang that likes to rob <laughs> I don't know. In the ditch? In crew? Yep. Oh, dead, you for real? The body that you looked at before you, you clicked on the body, and it's kind of hard, because I think it's safe to turn away from the but... I don't care who you run around with. Yeah, I was if, you, if, you, if you hide from the truck, you dive into the ditch, and you're literally like inches away from like the rotting corpse of Doug. Oh no! Yeah, you're on that exact road. Doug is just over there in the ditch right now? Yeah, he's just been left. That's him right next to my feet? He's just been left on the side of the road since episode three, yeah. See if I give a shit. Yep, it sure is. He's wearing his episode two coat. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I'd like a ride. That'd be good. Thanks. Hell yeah, get in. Let's tear it up. All right, I'm thanks. trying to get to my grand's house. Fuck, she likes to party? Oh, let's tear it up. We'll God. Get Come on, let's tear it up. Eventually. Have ourselves a little party. She likes to party? <laughs> what a garbage man. <laughs> this your grand? It's like your grand 140 little... days into the zombie way, apocalypse. He's like, your grandpa, your grandma thirsty? party? Does, uh, does your grand party? Does, does she like eight balls as much as I do? Go. God. Um, great, thanks. I'm straight too, fella. I just want to ask. Oh man! Oh, Parsons whiskey. Parsons whiskey. <laughs> Eric Parsons, uh, the one and only uh, director, cinematic no, director, good, right. episode director. I wanted right, to. Uh, you want to tell me? Yeah, I was trying. I was trying to say earlier. Really, must have been with a crew. The cinematography, uh, cinematography master. Any tailback where you come from? Uh, it's yeah. so beautiful. Because, the, because obviously, like, you know, with. The, such an early game. Uh, it, it needed a little touch up. <laughs> yeah, well, well, like just little things, like just um, I retract my the question. first episode, like with the girl you and Jimmy. Liked, right. They, they, they flipped the lights the off in the things. office, and it, it became right. so much more sinister of <laughs> like an interrogation. Right. I didn't have any family. Um, totally. You know, and oh, all of the lighting, just having it all in widescreen yeah. too, oh. makes it, you can see way more of the sets. Because you actually it's, know, it's, like, oh, there's something over there. Like, you know. Right. Yeah. I'm very excited for people to get a chance to play it. Yes. It's, Go back to the I, I will say real quick, I don't know if anyone in chat everybody was with here, but. On December second, when it um, drops, no when the game is public, found um, I will be every time. on the Ref Twitch channel. So, like, Let it out, follow Giddy Ref. Right Just now. we gonna kill um, these folks and take this stuff or what? Then uh, bang, uh, uh, dead. And um, anyway, I'll be streaming. Uh, Sam Max, save the world, the remaster. Uh, and I can make we don't have a demo. To find my well, we'll be there. But it's gonna be a lot of fun. I couldn't live like that. Uh, that's on the fourth. Or uh, sorry, on the second. second. Yeah. No. So yeah, yeah. That, it's a Wednesday. Wednesday night, and they'll remember? announce six. stuff about it. Just tell me something about. Um, I think they'll. Was the I'll try to pop in on the chat if I can, at least for a, a, a moment. Russ, I'm doing I forget you a service the time. Here. I gotta get my beak wet. Um, 
put it right in here. I think it's five. Why you gotta be like that? Like what? Always talking about women like that. Um, or five third? I don't know. Yeah, five. Okay, well let, let me see if I can answer your yeah, question. Back. Because, because the hunger a man's got for a woman. Awesome. This guy's been talking about, about sex no laws, the whole time. No jobs, <laughs> he's just he's hey, talking nonsense. I'm just, guy. Yeah, yeah, I'm just like trying he's to. All the women a yet, gross yeah. person. <laughs> he's just a Let's hey man. Again. Then he yeah, pops right? lately. <laughs> this guy's like, yeah, come on, man. To worry, my grandma. It's just it's <laughs> such a good scary. setup for like a story of like I'm in this man's truck and I don't think he's totally stable. I don't know how to get out of the situation. I feel like we have all met a person slightly like this at one point or another, and it is it is really scary. What are you doing, you moron? They just don't have the right reaction. To it. Oh, yeah. yeah, he's just in a totally different world. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. Oh crap, I'm sorry, kid. <laughs> Not bad. It's, messing. it's just like. God. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't even check to see if his I don't god was loaded. It might have Total been psycho. John Vanham in the road that I don't remember, but like. The fact that he goes to shoot the zombie and the gun doesn't have bullets in it is such a good touch. It's He's icky. just he just the fact that there's a guy out here drunk drunk driving <laughs> with a gun in a zombie apocalypse and is not even checking if it's loaded is such a good like way of describing his personality. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Like But of course they pull up the gas station. I wish I could remember who wrote this one. I feel like it was Sean Vanneman, but it I think sounds right. Let's look for some supplies in here. Could have been yeah, I don't have any other um don't, don't be mad. Talk to oh, be mad. Fine, be Ugh. mad. Just stop being a pussy. Yeah, he's a gross dude. I... Right? Oh shit! Go! Get... Okay. Got at. <laughs> Russ, and get this the is fuck from down, man. the crew. Is this there. the accident they get are the referring to? I'll cover you. This is uh, later, I think. You no, this is earlier. This time? This is oh, that's right. You're so totally right. That yeah, was yeah, yeah, yeah. Out. It's the last one. Yeah, 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 that's right. Holy crap. This one, this one is sort of right in the middle. That's right. This yeah. one is right after the, the Wyatt. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Anyone? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What happened to? I'll cover you. Look how good it's, you um... did. <laughs> All right. What are we gonna do? What happened? I covered First, you. But we're gonna figure good. out exactly where this uh, asshole is. Just, just completely unreliable in a fight. Oh my god. Ow. You're just a full on psychopath. See? Yeah. Oh man, we're using that looking using over the edge of a thing right. from the motel in 101 that we never That's used again. <laughs> Let's push the great, this uh, Okay. Great mechanic. It's a new Yeah, I love it in this one, like down. in episode one, obviously you can just do it for as long as. Or there's a long timer because eventually the zombies will see you, but in this one it's like Shit. you pop your head up for like 10 just seconds. Just keep pushing! Right. Runs. They they like push the truck for cover, which is a great idea. But of course they aim right for the tires. Shit! Push! Yeah. yeah, I think that was the thing where like the tires get blown out, and then like the button mash what just now? becomes impossible. Right. I remember right. Director, like you just can't you button go mash cover anymore. to cover. Seriously, this time I'm not fucking around. Cover me. Cover me. If we get to that car, we'll be out of the line of fire. Here. <laughs> he effectively oh, said, I don't need first. to cover you. <laughs> I'm fucking around. You cover me, and then I'll cover you. This guy. No, no first, absolutely don't let him have the gun. You take the gun. <laughs> yeah, you know what? Yeah, him. I will that's I fine. will happily cover you, you my friend. I'm gonna shoot out his Just shoot at the window eyes. and keep that fucker's head down. <laughs> so this is I'm another going. one of those this is another Throw one of the those guns and I'll do the same. Ready? In the story yeah. where you can decide what of the two things you do. Wow, I can draw Nate. Oh 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 Shoot kid! Remember, Fine. don't stop shooting. Fire! Come in, I wasn't shooting. All oh. right, throw me the gun and I'll cover you. This guy's gonna leave. I mean, at least you've got you've got the car and the gun. Yeah, That's true. <laughs> right. Go! Go, 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 go. Good throw. Thank you. The gun disappeared, but that's okay. Okay. Good job. Now what? We get over there and we should be good. Go. Wait. Go where? How she? How do we know this semi truck? Are we just oh, trying to get around? 
definitely like you you figured out where they are. Like they're definitely in one of the shooting from inside. God, God. <laughs> you saved my life. Idiot. Whatever. Oh, we got more work to do. At least this guy, I like Let's him a little bit more now. Besides the fact that he was like, could slam that zombie, right? <laughs> yeah. Follow me. He's still, he's still a wild card. Wild cards again. Man, what are we doing? Well, we gotta get yep. in there. Fucker shot at us. What was uh? Russell, what was the like relax, working man. title for the shell story? When this is over, uh, sisters, we can head on down to your grams and have a big old home cooked meal. All right. <laughs> Go home next yeah, it week. was with Grams. We're gonna have a party. Come I've on. got prison bus, Rochambeau, wild that. card sisters, and then this is the last one. The last one. What's I the problem? Say. Or the other. Who? Anyway, yeah. yeah. <laughs> is it still dangerous? That the Probably. that's the other. Just get over the other guy. Yeah. Covered. Feel like a big man now? <laughs> I'm gonna, uh, God, I remember that. Did you just <laughs> softly push it in like a ripe cantaloupe? Like, oh, yeah, it like, was so just, soft. <laughs> so it squishes in. Ugh. Like it wasn't. It wasn't like a curb stop. Like I kind of hoped. It's like God, you know, that, feels, that feels. That feels one hundred percent like a Jake Rodkin call to me. <laughs> <laughs> like because any any of these movements, it's like. Do a quick punch, you know, like yeah, it's you know, very violent. Like it, you can almost forget it happened, like kind of like get yeah. past it. But the I fact that it just slid just into his eye socket and like oh, it's just, so you just you just kind of <laughs> gently just kill him. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, hey, lunch break, welcome. Uh, don't forget, guys. Uh, all money donated go help fight type one diabetes. Uh, link in the chat or with donate or raise. Arsenite. Oh shit. And I'm really hoping, I'm imagining grab him. since I'll cover the remaster will be out that day. Jump out, grab that We're will go. Get... Oh, we'll be on the front page of Hell. Oh. Um hopefully that Which is kinda of... Yeah, you gotta pick. Oh. <laughs> uh, oh, I, I, I picked. To wait, I guess. Walt! <laughs> oh! Get the Walt, fuck out of here, you monster! The face. Whoa, Gramps! I told you not to come back here. Think you could just leave your mask at home? And now you're with this fucking spook. First off, watch the fucking I was racism. not this is gonna say anything racist, Secondly, even though he was an old white man you. defending his old we white were just passing by like anyone. Else. <laughs> oh shit! I'm like, oh. You came back to finish us off and take all our food. You've lost your goddamn marbles. She's and you dying. brought a black guy. Now she can see your <laughs> oh, face. Worst. We've uh, never someone been even here, worse sir. than then who uh, shot my than your wife? Wild card Wasn't us. Well, this it sucks because like you know, no goddamn reason. People are take like, you, out for that. you know. Please just get the fuck out of here. They're all Please just leave trying us to alone. Love what do you say, Russ? No, no matter how terrible they come across, even Larry, stuff? like yeah. trying to protect his daughter, you know, like as terrible as a. Oh, uh, uh, that's a wild that's stare. A, yeah, like <laughs> he looks like a and I don't want psychopath. Can't you take a fucking joke? He is. <laughs> Fuck your jokes. Very I'm much. sorry. I'm out. You're good. Come on. Break. Thanks for coming by. Can we still be friends? No. We'll be friends. Up to Nate and Walt. Is he about to shoot? Uh, Eustis and Muriel over here. Uh, you um. <laughs> The old lady is the zombie eating the puppy. Oh no! Yeah, that's right. That's right. Yeah. Dan said. And in, I don't think you saw it in that or not. Uh, in in Shell story, but there's actually like a blood stain on the on the right feet that you can actually investigate. And be like, oh, that's been there as long as I've been here. Like, I don't know what that's from. <laughs> <laughs> well. Dan. Yep. Dan, well. <laughs> Dan Potter said, "Can't you take a joke?" <laughs> yeah. Ugh. Uh, yeah, Chris. Proceed off screen. <laughs> yeah, hundred percent. Nate, Nate. Uh, well.
go. One more. Not, one more. not a great day for Russell. <laughs> yeah, he had a rough a rough one. <laughs> I love how his picture on the bulletin board is graduation. Like he, so good. he is yeah, not he asking for trouble. He just a snake you know, for a tongue. I think he's been meant to be like you know. Would you rather have a snake for a tongue? Right. I mean, uh, no, no, this is the this is the Sean Dainsworth script for sure. Yeah, yeah. Honey and clad. Too. Okay, so I guess Bonnie's is. Are the claws lobster size or human size? Shell is human size. Yeah. Sixty days. Oh, Bonnie, exactly. Well. Wait, lobster claws or what? And how exactly do you think harder? Good point. Lobster. I'll think about that. Lobster claws. Weirdo. God, both. Think of all the crazy stuff you could grab. All I'm saying is, good luck finding a man if you have lobster hands. Good thing I'm not looking for one then. Well, I mean. Okay. Pass the time. How about? And that's an event who's Snow White and Wolf Among Us and uh, oh, come on. Molly and Susan. Oh, one. that's right. Wow. Yeah, she's all, been a lot she's more all over. Uh, all Feeling over better? Herself. I guess I am. Well, you sure do look better. Well, uh, you gotta admit, anything is an improvement. Love and see. That came out wrong. I, what I mean is, I mean, uh, you were. You were. It's so uh, I got so. You know. Do, you know, you're not perfect fine. either, Mr. Lobster and, uh, Hands. Maybe I should spend a minute listing off your it? flaws. See how you like it. Me? I ain't perfect. That's right. And you're older than dirt. Uh, Omar and, yeah. um... As long as you stay off that stuff... Omid. Omid. Omid and, and Krista. Krista. Yes, yeah. yeah. Like, I mean, even when you added them, we like... Found you, you were still so it hooked was on still... that stuff. I, I felt closer to them than I... Came out of the <laughs> woods yet. Yeah, I know, but... <laughs> Well, oh, you've come yeah. a long way, Bonnie. And I'm but proud uh, because you. <laughs> you know, I mean, it's only in the one episode. But uh, and I mean, oh, they're not in there up. much. What are you, my sponsor? But the best you got. Um, God help me. Just get used to their faces. You know, you, you, you know, enough with them. You get right? as long as like, we're together. Just, I'll be there for you. Not as kind of and you know, not as like I... outside force. Just I'm playing right now. Yeah. What are you saying? Nice. Bonnie. Yeah. Leland? Bonnie? D. Hey, honey. Oh. I found us something. Uh, why are you spitting? What, what are you two up to? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Just chatting. Just chatting. Chattin'. What are you what two about? up to? God, that pose is so good. <laughs> um, um, well, um, lobsters. Come out, lobsters. lobsters. Well, fishing. <clears throat> Figured it'd be worth a shot. For the food, you know. Leland, you hate fishing. Well, that ain't totally true. And how many oh, days Leland. you gone fishing? What? Leland, I go when was the last time, time you went fishing? <laughs> Thought you didn't. I am a catch. Don't I know it? <laughs> I got you a present. Not you, oh, God. <laughs> you shouldn't have. What'd you find? Idiot. I'll I'm tell a you catch. later. I don't mean to interrupt your chat with your uh, girlfriend, but uh, we got to get moving. Uh. What's that? that? So, where'd you get the bag? Yeah, when I was having the conversation, I didn't D? realize, uh... D, did you hear me? Just drop it, Leland. Hey, <laughs> D, when we get back to camp... Yep. Oh, you're you're not meant to. <laughs> yeah, I would say, and I love that y'all showed his wedding <laughs> ring today, right at the end. You know, <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> these claws. And then even and then, I would have assumed here, that they were married. That, that Look, I found it down the road a piece, all right? Right around. Where down the road? Some place off that away. Damn it, D, you gotta give us more it's than a different that. little relationship I don't yeah. think so. You don't think? Because I'm just don't like, know. I was just kind of like, you know, the same thing, Leland. Uh, just would tell us, babe. Rather flirting, like, you know, I'm like, yeah, this mm -hmm. is sure fun. Light and easy and fun. Yeah. Like, like, yeah, yeah, like one time you sided like, with oh, me the last week. Ah. The last month. <laughs> All right. I can't remember Aaron, one especially, but I know I have. I like the skin. The on her coat is very good. Right. It's so perfect. Standing here in the woods, soaking through, and for what? 
Yeah. Don't you want to get to the camp before dark? I ain't the one who stopped. This ain't helping but you anything. You are the one who too. made me stop. Irregardless, we could just as easy carry on like this while we're walking. Oh, I've about had it with that attitude. Irregardless isn't a word. <laughs> now we're standing. You're gonna draw every ten things for miles around. God damn, that my middle of nowhere place. You listen to me now. I have had enough to hear with listening to you. Uh, Adam Harrington. Uh, let's see. Lila. I don't. Oh, forget the both of you. Oh yeah, totally. I'm Lila. He was Jerry and Lila. Please. We can sort this out. Yeah. Oh, Lord, Lord, give me strength. We'll straighten this out. You oh, will, honey, but... right, Dee? We, we can solve this out. We just need to get somewhere else. Oh, now you agree with me. Bonnie, darling, I'm, I'm sorry we're... Darling? <laughs> Dee, come on. Save it. I know what side darling. your bread is buttered come on. on. <laughs> Yours, too. <laughs> Oh, so no, the, acting, the, the acting of these characters Every is issues we got, we'll hash like, them out okay, later. It's always later. So I, I refuse to get in the middle of this. Well, too bad. You already are. <coughs> I'm sorry. I just want to get somewhere where it's a really I good setup too. Because in the beginning, when they're talking, we were um, can... saying like to Bonnie that you know, oh, she's admitting oh, no. that she used to be like a drug oh, addict. Run, come on, we gotta move. And what so are you there's talking this about? almost like codependent like relationship that they're oh, in, shit. where like she owes them big time, but she's kind of disrupted their relation. Oh. It's, it's a really good setup. Wait up, yo! Hey. Oh. Oh. Okay. Be your girlfriend. A shot. Funny that these three actors, it's it, it's Aaron who is Snow White and Wolf Among Us, Adam who's Bigby in Wolf Among Us, and Sissy who's uh, ah. Detective Brannigan in Wolf Among Us. That's awesome. I just love it. It's, it's like so to hear them uh, all interacting. Just, and, yeah, in a totally yeah. different context. <laughs> different, yeah. I'll have to play Wolf Among. Us. Ah. Oh yeah, it's 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 a totally different kind of thing. I've seen a lot of, um... Ugh. Yeah. It's a, it's a, it's a bit of a breath of fresh air. I mean, it's, it's dark in its own way, but it's right. not quite as, like, ex existentially <laughs> <laughs> tormenting. Every choice doesn't make you hit yourself as much. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> Layla! Through here! Oh, Look! The, the bus. Yep, so you walked, you ran by the bus, and you, obviously, you saw the silhouette of the gas station sign in the... Here, so here's this mechanic that we uh yeah. so this is a whole thing of the, the cornfield story was like was that, that was the name of this one right corn cornfield i have it as downpour but uh yeah you know i'm sure people call it different stuff depending on i mean the cornfield is is like the second back the back half of the episode the scenes are all yeah environment where are you uh so the idea of just like People trying to find you in a cornfield. It's dark Anybody in the dark anything? with flashlights the being just a terrifying experience. Uh, Ducking between the rows. Yeah, and like I think it, I designed. I can't remember it was Mark and I. I might think we worked on this together. Like we designed this mechanic and like worked really closely with Sean Ainsworth, who was the writer, um, to like set it up properly and like make sure it made like. And obviously, we don't want to talk about what No, I can't at see a damn thing out here. But yeah, it was it was uh, a lot of fun to sort of make it feel like, uh, you know, really really creepy. Yeah, uh, JRF says one of the things like hammer <laughs> bullets, pretty unique for like a Telltale, you know, a Telltale game. Even though it's relatively simple on a gameplay level, like it's a pretty unique. Oh, watch over me. Hey, the, the other time. Game. Okay, Bonnie. Stay calm. Find a way. Outlast two. Yeah. <laughs> Running from like buying uh, nobilities effectively, and you're I now in the corner. And yep. Sorry about this. Probably a parent would. Bonnie. Bonnie. Oh, Eva. <gasps> Ew, oh, ew, ew, ew. I'm so sorry. Oh, God. Oops. God, the eye that doesn't move was such a good touch. Oops. I can't remember how they did that. Uh, they, like, locked it so that her eyeball what? didn't move with her eyes as one of her eyes. Oh, it's so gross. It's really not good. How bad is it? Like, why did you, why didn't you say how bad anything? is it? You, you should have said something. <laughs> not great. Uh, you're out of your eyes. You, you. you did this. I didn't do nothing. God, you Shut up. me. You... You killed me. Oh. 
Great talk. I should never. Ah, the eye rolled up. Ugh. Uh, you should. Uh, the I won't move with the other eye. Why y'all do this? <laughs> Who had the uh, fun activity of fun, making the model do that? <laughs> Liar. Oh, well, look we at her. This. And Dee was really nothing but reasonable I, the whole time. No, <laughs> to be completely fair, yeah. A really little abrasive, time. perhaps, oh. but like... She also does realize her husband is like screwed around with oh, like, their young gosh. companion. But she also stole Bummer supplies, times. so like I don't know. Yeah, man, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I would never. Well, you know. I swear this has Bummers. nothing to do with him. It was an accident. It's a good setup where like she she <laughs> okay. thinks she did it on purpose to be with her husband. Yep. This is D, D, did you find her? Oh man! Honey, I, I thought they got you back there. Jesus, are you shot? I think, I can't remember, but I think I directed Sissy doing the uh, dying garbled D. I, I, th that was the line. <laughs> oh, Lord, Fucking body, I remember that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my god, Dee. Uh, I found out like this. Your face? Her face body? Uh, Doesn't matter now, Lee. Doesn't matter? She's dead. We've got to move on. We can't uh, stay here. I know. Oh, I didn't like any of those options. A minute. Tell me what happened. Yeesh. What happened? It was me. She was already like this. What's done is done. Ah! It was me. What's done is done? Is done? What, a, what a thing to say. <laughs> One of them. I, I didn't see Doesn't her. Doesn't matter. Right you, did this? you did this to my D? I don't, I don't believe this. I, I did too. I don't understand. I'm sorry. Sorry. I'm so sorry, Levin. Bonnie. Gosh. Which way? I'm sorry to do this to you, darling. Leave you here. This way. Come on, man. We can't, can't stay, stay here. here. <laughs> Rough. We just like we gotta leave, but your wife is like dying in this fucking mud. Come, <laughs> really come leave with great. your side chick. <laughs> yeah. Right? And it's the worst. Who just it's killed so your bad. wife? Yep. Was there an option where I just have to She's do anything as she yeah. fine? Yeah. I no, if you don't, if you don't do it, damn sure she turns a corner and, and shoots you. Oh. She, she reacts the same way you do, and it's kind of, like, you can't really tell if she actually does know it's you and takes basically takes the shot anyway. Uh -huh. uh, because she's jealous of you, or if it's a total accident, like, it's, it's pretty vague what what she knows when she pulls it. Is trick. every decision in this game a <laughs> one or the other? Uh, uh, in this one it is, yeah. In, in, uh... He's in. We were right. There are survivors out here. I can't remember whose Still idea alive? it was to make, the, make it a billboard. Well, I feel like it was Jake. Uh, so how many are we talking about? Um, but, God, the first time you, like, a, an arm reaches out and pulls one of the photos off. It's like, oh god, I'm, a, I'm somebody. Yeah. It's it's so Around good. Five, yeah, it's a it's the menu in it, but they it's also a note, so the at least we know they want to be found. Yeah, and I can see smoke in the distance, probably a camp. I'm gonna try to make contact tonight. Great. Well, just be careful and use your best judgment. Yeah. We're building a good community here. We want to keep it that way. Hi. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, hey. Can we go through <laughs> this? <laughs> I like seeing that, like, the gas station has had multiple, like, groups try and make it work. Like, one of the things that, that you kind of learn in episode three is that, like, mm -hmm. like being still for too long, even Holy as, shit. like, boarded up as you can make a place, never really worked out long term. So, uh, far, so good. So, I'm gonna try like, to just knowing that multiple people were like, oh, gas station, perfect, yeah, and it falls apart at some point is really cool. So now, based on the aid, or you got walking out the pond. Hey, don't do it. Let's find out together. Don't fucking move. Who the fuck are you? My name is Tavia. How did you find us? Like, where'd you find us, man? It's what I do. I'm a scout for a growing settlement up north. We go out and look for survivors to rescue them. We have food, 
clean water and shelter for everyone. We're yeah, offering I feel you a like chance to help we looked us at kind of the general over. timeline of the Walking Dead God, comics. this sounds too good to be true. But of, and like around this is. time, like a, a year and a half. Bonnie, in get real. Like Just because you have to tell the truth all the time doesn't mean like everyone else does. If I didn't trust people, uh, I'd be dead. Like trying to go I know that for sure. People, to bring to them. people can like care small, about you if you let them. Like Leland cared when he let you run off alone. That's enough. Uh, so it felt I heard like rumors about after 400 places. days it would make sense for this guy I would traveling like with ditch me trying to find one in his own collective yeah he thought I you know what I Let's love all these this. characters I think, she looks well fed uh, right time. clean Thanks. we could all but, yeah and they've, they've been shower. really close to each other for a long time right like Wait, they've, you they've find kind survivors? of been in each other's like lies in each other's stories without knowing it not as many or more days we got at least yes Eddie might be there why combat it? clan man he has the Look, best shirts we need people yep. this Plain the dialogue here is so nuts like they're saying like group just because you tell the truth becca doesn't but i don't want to be the open after yeah. Yeah. why it's like based on what you i may mean, find eddie back in my car and all oh. yeah hopefully so nuts. Mm -hmm. some of you yeah because i didn't get to oh. see everything well i'm going um maybe we should go to there's a ton that i could go back like he wouldn't be able to do anything to us there there's no way yep. that guy yeah. is still. I don't. Free. I can't remember. You, you would stop. have to go back There's and play no again. Left. But I don't think that Roman's the not a problem. Didn't affect, Following her, that like, what you kill. see. I think it just. Look, I know it's a risk, right. but what and else is there? Yeah, if I you guys are going, then so yeah. are we. I don't like this, guys. We should just walk away. <coughs> I don't trust her. Of course you don't, Russell. You don't trust anyone. Yeah, I like, like based on what you do. I think it kind of just forms their relationships. Yeah, so like she's like Russell, like, you don't trust convince... anyone. So like it, I don't it, know. Uh, Russell, come it, on. That the, their dynamic might. I don't understand what the problem is. On, like, the Are you really considering kind of staying out here, foraging for food like fucking raccoons? I mean, <laughs> then why did we even leave the photos? Like I kill five men. Well, for, it could be a right trap. Now. What if they want to kill <laughs> us? Thank you. Everyone out there is batshit crazy. We've all seen it. Well, we turned out all right, didn't we? Relatively speaking, you clearly outnumber me. If right. you wanted to overpower me, you could. Hell, I'll even go along as your hostage until uh, you feel safe. And the no group that D you. stole from That's was bad idea, Shell actually. and Becca's group. And I'll and do I think it. They mention it because I, I know say, when like, you guys see this place, you'll change your minds. Um, I Look, don't know I if know it's. You guys are wearing, I don't. I can't remember if it's the same right event as like when the. You don't know me from a hole in the ground. Um. There are some but crazy fuckers out there. But he definitely stole from Shell and Beckett. Like, their, their silhouettes, if you look at them in their so in the me, cornfield, are actually, like, Stephanie the choice is and yours. Uh, Roman. Oh, and wow. all like, they're actually in there. They're just blacked so, out. Their textures are blacked who out. Who wants to come with me? Um, and the other thing we did was they they have blinds. Like, they'll meet each other and talk, and the subtitle text color is the same color as it is in, there, in Shell and Beckett's huh. uh, uh, part of the story. I love how... Yeah. I'm going. Yeah. I have to. Uh, you could replay this and get a yeah. totally different. Yep. Yeah. So the way that they're voting right now is totally based on on their stories. Oh. I'm I'm just not sure. So We've you can absolutely have so like long. almost none of them. It seems so much bullshit. That's crazy. Well, yeah, I, mean, I remember. Really it worth getting a hold of. Being of course it is. The amount of people that Hope is all we've got died left. up until that point. Being smart. That's what's right. keeping us alive. Some of you may have been separated from friends or family. It's a long shot, but there's a chance you could find them there. Because, like, up until have that point, I felt pretty confident. Like, oh, me. yes. Oh, this. I think we like, have. If they die, it's kind of just. Okay. But, but then that right. last episode, you try I was anything, like, oh, crap. Regret. Like, <laughs> we'll do everything we can everything to help you find wood. your friends and family. Yeah. But understand that I can't promise anything. Poor Russell. We understand. such a trust issues now. I think we've all made up our minds. Don't look like. Well, I guess we have our group. Like, you have poke off the back of a What do you want to do with these? Like, yep. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get some sandwiches. Yeah. 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 <laughs> because... Want to kill some old people and eat some sandwiches? It's, it's a good thing. I know how to party. <laughs> um, so, Jared, I, since I know you worked more on uh, season two than I did, correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe that Octavia's how group is the card work I think that's the. I think that's what we ended up. I think that's what the season two. Is. Yeah, like, but yeah, I mean, the, these these characters show up for sure yeah. as guards and and people that you're you having to yeah. deal yeah. with. So, so the group Octavia's talking about right now, I don't think we do at the time because season two hadn't been designed. Uh, but we left we left like hanging threads that we could pull on if we wanted to. Uh, and then as season two story came together, I think they were like, oh yeah, it should just be Octavia or Octavia's like group that is uh, is Carver's group. 
Yeah. And based on the data that comes in from 400 Days into season two, uh, those certain All right. are... Wow. They, uh, I guess they did finally go with her. They have no idea what to expect. <laughs> yep. That's just kind of it. That's kind of the end. Yep. If I had that's a DLC. That's a DLC for you. If I had another hour mm-hmm. and a half, I would play tonight. Go play all of them. Yeah, yeah, I would just replay all of them, and I will on my own time. <laughs> but like, yeah. oh man. So Danny or Justin? What do you? Justin. Th- I actually, actually liked Danny more than I shot his foot off. Uh, was because a I was hoping it would foot off, and b <laughs> because he was so gung ho, like give me the gun, I'll do it. I, right, I right, was right. like, all right, well maybe he's with me, him. <laughs> like, yep, I don't know. He's totally cool with it. Yeah. Oh yeah, I love how fifty are, but fifty percent. Mm-hmm. It's just randomized, right? Like you're rolling, a, you're rolling a dice, so it ends up, I think, long term, just ending up being fifty-fifty. Right. Um, Nate, five percent of Nate. I can't imagine staying with Nate. Yeah, like one of the twenty-five people, they're like, "Hell yeah, I'm in for the ride, buddy. Let's shoot this party. Let's shoot yeah. these old people and some whiskey." In the Hell back. yeah, my grandma parties. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I get it from her. Um, I think more more importantly, twenty five percent of people ooh. stayed with Nate. That's that's the uh, important statistic. Five percent. Of- right. I think that's nice that you are. And yeah, the uh, my audio. You guys, hear me? My mic. It sounds fine on on Discord. It's fine. So. That- Testing. Okay, how's that for you? Hopefully. Test. <laughs> if, if my mic stops working. <laughs> um, and did you leave in the RV or kill Stephanie? Less than seventy five percent of players left in the arc. Ba- bailed. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that makes Pretty sense. Sure I that too. Huh. Uh it says I'm still cutting out. Maybe it's a noise gate thing. I'm not sure. Um sorry about that, guys. Oh. Is that better, Polly? Yeah, okay, I think I fixed it. All right. Well, that was 400 days. Oh, and we all left with Tavia. So we actually nice. got everyone out. Yep. For better or for worse. <laughs> yeah. Gosh, they don't know what they're getting themselves into. Oh, yeah. uh, geez. And yeah, that's the thing. It's like, I have no idea what their outcome <laughs> <Right>. is now. <laughs> Rented by Sean Ainsworth. It is. Yeah. Miss Sean. Yep. Sean's across the pond in London these days. <laughs> Man. Yeah, that was crazy. That was super fun. I uh yeah. isn't it different? It's, really it's, it's so different. Yeah, it's just like Oh, it was um it, it was definitely a um if I was waiting for season this game came out, I would have been very pleased with the results. Because like no one likes having to wait, like as far as the show goes. No one likes having to wait for that second season to drop. Um, yeah. So to have this as a fun little breath of fresh air of like, here's the world, but it's not necessarily this, you know, like that's yeah. nice. Yeah, and we leave that kind of thread hanging that we at the time we we may or may not pick up, but it feels like. Because once you know, once at the end of the episode or season one, you kind of you know that Lee's story is kind of over, and yes, you could and you can imagine very easily a world where Clementine's story is also it just kind of ends there, like you don't really see if, what happens after. Right. Um, so to have like additional threads that seem interesting that we can pick up that that leave you excited about a potential <coughs> to not knowing whether or not Clementine's going to be there or not, um, yep, uh, is super valuable. Uh, gee, I'm just looking at the credit scene, which is showing 
special appearance by Chris Rebert. That's really uh, hilarious. Uh -huh. <laughs> I love that they, they show you the from from Eddie's perspective. Different yeah, points yeah. of view, like what was happening. Yeah, really good. Oh man, <laughs> that's crazy. I think that uh, the only character that is guaranteed to come with you is Bonnie because she has such a a big. Uh, she's part of season two. Like she actually right. has a pretty important role oh. in season two. Yeah. Um, so everyone else, you can absolutely leave with like one to five people, but I think you'll always get at least one, but you can absolutely have like no one else come with you based on choices. That is great. That, right. was, that was great. Yeah. Thank, thank you guys so much for joining stream. Oh, our My pleasure. pleasure. Absolutely. <laughs> um, thank you guys for, um, everyone who donated, uh, the, Donate what you can for fifty dollars, and the team dad for fifty. Thank y'all so much. Um, I'll keep this charity link open if anyone wants to give afterwards or whatnot. Um, always be open or not. Will be open. I will always have some variation of the charity link, and then um, we use the same link I think uh, for the MMX stream that happens per second. Um. So be sure to follow JDRF watching because we're going to talk about the remaster and I'm super, super stoked to so great. Uh, like it's been a fun play so far. So I'm really excited to get into that. And at some point in time, I'll play Walking Dead season two and I have no idea when that will be. But <laughs> um, hopefully it'll be there waiting for you. Oh, yeah, for sure. And if anyone from the Telltale team wants to join me for more Walking Dead, I will happily have someone else to deal with them. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, thank y'all so much for joining us. All right, well, um, I guess that's it. You guys have a wonderful night. Thank y'all so much. You. Take care, everybody. All righty. Bye, guys. See ya. And then... Uh, then for everyone else, thank you for watching. All 15 viewers in the chat that lurked, still appreciate it. Appreciate the people that donated. And yeah, I mean, for one night, $100, not bad. Not bad at all. Um, we're going to end the stream here. I'm going to try to figure out when we're going to play season. <laughs> and uh, probably we'll post go to my YouTube. Watching. Till next time. Bye, guys. And unfortunately, this stream is over, but we'll see you very soon. Hey, this was really fun. We hope you liked it too. We really do. Seems like we're just begun. When suddenly we're through. Unfortunately. Goodbye, goodbye, good friends, goodbye. Goodbye, for now. now it's time to go. I really do hate to say it. But hey, I say, well, that's okay. That is. Guess we'll see you very soon, I know. Yeah, super soon. Very soon, I know. Ooh, get it. Goodbye, goodbye, good friends, goodbye. Good and tomorrow's another day. Ah, yeah. ah. Hey, love, robot. And the Brobits crew And we'll be ready for you to come and stay To watch a let's play Another day Bye guys!